What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Loadout Races of the Week. By risk of resources, forgot that part. I'm your host, Race, and I'm here with Cap. Hello. What's up, Chet? How we doing? And uh, we got a race for you today, dude. So the races we have today, by the way, we have Cabbage, Zinc, and Gamer Host. If you saw my announcement earlier um, yesterday or day before or whatever, some of you may have been expecting Raymond Daniels to participate, but he called in six, so we brought in the excellent gaming host himself as He's our sub banned. in. Yeah, we just banned Dan completely after that one. Yep. <laughs> banned him to hell. Anyway, to this, the should be a, this should be a good race anyway, regardless. Let's check out the loadouts, shall we? Oh, by the way, um, I'm going to... Kay did something new with the bingo link. So if you're using the old bingo link, you have to use the new one. It's a new board. So make sure to get your new board with the uh, exclamation point bingo. Um, okay, as far as those today, a little bit rough, I think, a little bit to start off, right? Start off the, uh, yeah. the Rex. <laughs> and the yeah. self-damage uh, utility isn't that great. And the apples aren't great either um but then we have a really good huntress actually and we have then roll mando afterwards with suppressive fire default mando at dander it's dander yep. and then we have diablo dander captain time. which i'm always hyped to see diablo captain actually the shock heal combo for the beacons not too bad for survivability you can kind of just blast through and like just heal on tp i guess it's not too big a deal yeah yeah I, you know, we don't have any, like, I guess, super fast survivors today, but, you know, we have, we have some interesting runs ahead of us regardless. Yeah, I think like, Huntress is probably the most comfy out of all of them. Oh, absolutely. I mean, this it's is the, the best first time, for you know, like months, I think we've gotten the preferred uh, loadout for Huntress for like the races here. So, yeah. Also, it's a special loft today. So, a Aphelion Sanctuary is the theme yeah. for today. It's Super awesome. cool. Love that stage. <laughs> it's cool how they can't use Lunars either. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's jump on over to the, uh, the screen to get ready. They're almost done. I know that um, Zinc and Cabbage are here set up. What is Host doing? What is Cabbage doing? That's what I want to know. Oh, uh, he's <laughs> he's getting ready for the command arc, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they won't notice. They Rust. won't notice, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this thing's doing it too. <laughs> They're fucking colluding glass now. All right, all right. <laughs> it's gone too far. <laughs> they start in less than a minute, by the way. So it should be good. Getting ready. I was putting on his purple skin. Oh, yeah. Purple skin suit. Uh, Cabbage is going a mayo run. How bad do you think that would be for plus fives? Oh, uh, that'd be horrible. <laughs> <laughs> He'd probably lose. Unless he gets the good roll right off the bat and you get Beatles yeah, like stage Beatles one and then you win. Like Jellyfish or something. Yeah. Someone in chat is asking if we've ever done like in-game co-op races, and we probably never will because multiplayer in Risk of Rain 2 is pretty bad. And that's pretty much the only reason. There's just a lot of lag, and a lot of our players come from all around the world. So it's just yep. it'd be impossible. Like we have a lot of players from like Brazil. We have one in Japan now. We have some in Australia. Australia. Like, they're all over, so Europe. They're everywhere. Someone is lagging for me. Great. Uh oh. Good start. Good start. We are starting. Let's see what we can see. It is Siphon Forest. Who is lagging for me? <laughs> okay, I got it. Jesus. All right. Anyway, Siphon Forest. Scrapper. It is. Stage one. Nice. Nice. Actually, maybe it's you. It's not me. It's there's a bug with uh something happening. I mean, it, it might be me, but it's like something with multi twitch. Uh, doesn't like when one person is lagging. And I don't know. Propulsion armor plate. 
Graf is pretty good to start off with Rex. I mean, he's already pretty tanky as is. So with the Raph, it's just and kind yeah. of take a beating stage really good one. survivability mm -hmm. yeah those wisps that spawn in on siphon that spawn like way above you can just kind of slap you down a little bit so getting to wrap early is good replation <laughs> <laughs> marie's your page if you don't have zinc zinc is the uh zinc debuted in the tournament we did two weeks ago and uh he won so yeah <laughs> yeah Zink, by the way, if you don't know who Zink is, he's one of the modders that uh, is behind Risk of Resources. He uh, he is the main person who works on the public gauntlet mod, actually. And he's been doing a lot of things behind the scenes for us for a while. Uh, he didn't want to race until he was comfy, though. But he's very yep. comfy, and he's obviously very and he's good, very so. good. Yeah. He has the Prismatic Trials world record for the fastest Prismatic Trials ever. Ever he has the. Yep. He has the four character gauntlet speedrun world record as well. So he's kind of a gamer. Mm -hmm. Let's see how he does today, though. You got to be consistent for these. You can't just throw yourself at the run and hope the seed is good because it's not always going to work out. We've seen a lot of um, there's a there's a certain subtle difference between speedrunning and uh, playing the gauntlet. And I don't think that's been made like as clear as it could have been, right? A lot of people think they're kind of, you know, synonymous with each other. But the big thing mm -hmm. uh, about this, like racing and stuff is, you don't get restarts, you know, you have to deal with whatever the game throws at you. And you have to find the fastest way through it. And with speed running, yep. you could just click the uh, restart button anytime you want, you don't have to deal with actually anything you don't want to. <laughs> so it's a huge mind shift mindset shift um and you know it, with speed running it's like it's easier to take certain risks that are just you know and not do so yeah, you can not so. care if you die because yeah. there's always another run but here it's like you got other people who are good at oh look at that risk of resources on oh, the gaming man, host top a, screen that's beautiful <laughs> <laughs> you can see them all doing like the same route too they all got pretty much the same items i know zinc and cabbage got the stake and ended up scrapping that and host got the key right away, so mm -hmm. they're all pretty been, on pace. Keys have been crazy. Missing out on a good key when your opponents get it, and it's like drone yeah. or something. It's like oh, and you the find red out item after, with the recycler, and you're like, yeah. dude, like <laughs> keys are powerful. Weird. One free large chest. They're all on TP now, and again, all pretty much same thing. They're synced. They're they're doing it all right now. I love when you can see like things like this happen because it's so just it's just natural, right? You play enough yeah. and you do you just have so much knowledge accrued over time that you just start doing optimal pathing. And we just kind of yep. see it across players, even when they're not even communicating at all. And it was just so exciting to see it for the first time when we first did this format with seeding and everything. Because beforehand, none of this had ever really been like seen before, apart from like prismatic trials, kind of. Um, but like seeing a full run and seeing how players just like approach each run and seeing so many consistent strategies throughout each player is crazy. Yeah, it's really cool to see. And I hope they have enough. I'm scared about starting off with a, a Rex, so I I would go full, full loot on this stage. Mm -hmm. I hope they have enough money by the end of this teleporter to get the rest, because it looked like there was a decent amount of items on this stage. I mean, it is uh, Siphon Forest, right? Usually yeah, a lot of potential more. for more interactables. Mm -hmm. But I feel the same way. I feel like Rex can kind of be a rough start sometimes, especially with the skills that they have right now. Um, yeah. So... Ooh. We'll see what they can get a out of here. Quail, right they have watches, AP round, a little bit of crit. Such a good build armor. already. It looks like Pretty Cabbage start. is leaving. Yeah. Really well-rounded. Well I mean, look at them yeah, all. Yeah, Host Gone they 2 and Zinc. All did the same thing. thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. I love it. Focus Crystal Printer on stage 2. Not too bad. I definitely if, go into oh, it fully, but Cabbage should yeah, have no. a scrap, so... Getting like one focus crystal is so good though. You can really, it really forces you to play more aggro, which you kind of need to during these races to really be efficient with your damage output. 
So getting like one focus crystal kind of makes you get in there and utilize it for its fullest potential and it's honestly really good damage multiplication. Mm -hmm. It's so funny. Zink even like walked near the focus crystal printer with his also one scrap and he was like, ah, yeah. and then he like just like cabbage it. Like, yeah, I got to do it. I got to do it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that, that kind of sucks that host didn't find the bison steak on stage one because the other two found it and scrapped it immediately. So mm -hmm. they get that focus crystal right off the bat. Ooh, it's safer spaces. So Ooh. now with yeah, the yeah. new host skip and all the new host tech, Rex has a full pillar skip with just a single safer spaces on Eclipse 3 plus. So now as long as they've done their research and done their practice, they should be able to easily pillar skip within like maybe a couple minutes on the moon. Mm -hmm. super good not only that because they're rex they can utilize their shift for damage without losing health mm -hmm. either yep or just mobility yeah without yeah, yeah. having to risk any potential curse decks very so powerful nice. but yeah the host skip is the biggest one the fact that they just it's have so a color skip right now is crazy yeah how does not the, having um... to like stress about finding equipments for a pillar skip because you just found one saver spaces is absurd <laughs> mm -hmm. so when we think about rex with this shift though do you think they'll have to move to the soup spot or do you think they'll be able to use this spot for uh the close spot for uh, i think they'll be able to use I, this one because it's just going up right yeah it'll take it just three on... shifts from the the head stompers version one spot uh -huh. and it'll only take two from the the soup spot so maybe it'll be better just going to the soup spot it is just one jump in order to get all the way up so mm -hmm. i don't know we'll see what they do i we'll think see. it would be more time efficient going with the version one head stomper spot but yeah depends also you can check they... cauldrons out especially on rex might need it depends how much they care about the time i guess yep over their health i should say and the void crit as well on host screen top and cabbage already started the teleporter He's oh, nice. really pushing it. Which could be Sound a good play. Like I mean, they have really good damage multiplication already. He found the gas for the AoE. He's got decent speed with the quail and the energy drink. And a mired urn from the drop. Dude, the Mern already? The Mern. Actually, I think Mern is probably good on this build for right now. Oh, yeah. I mean... Honestly, for any any run where you're needing to go fast, like the gauntlet runs or the speed runs, it's such good survivability, and you don't have to do anything for it. Like, as long as you're near an enemy, you're getting pretty substantial healing. And then with the focus crystal, any sort of damage multiplication is going to give you yeah. even more healing, which is a pretty cool interaction. I do like that. I think yeah. anyone will try to push the Dune Strider off here. It won't work because of the little lip on the edge of the uh, yeah the thing. But oh, I think uh, Zinc tried. tried Zinc's try. trying. Hold up, here we he go. He might get maybe like one little upwards one. Let's see it. Oh, he got it actually. Oh, nice. yep, nice. What a gamer. So that spot actually, <laughs> I guess it's ramped enough to where you can ramp it up the little slope as opposed to the other edges where it's like a little bit more yeah. high of an angle. Nice. Yeah, it is like a little ledge that you could do like a stomper quail jump. So I guess it's just enough of a a lip to ramp him over it. I didn't even notice until right then. What yeah. a guy. Cabbage done with the teleporter, going to the land island area. There's a few try shops there. Getting a bunch of speed. An energy drink, another hoof. Nice. And another energy drink. Wow, that's a lot of speed. <laughs> well, he's happy with that one. I mean, he already has like four speed items now, so. Yeah, that's such especially, good survivability. Especially with safer spaces, like... Yeah, he's looking really good here. He also has a quake. It looks like he's leaning for more too. I would have expected him to kind of leave, but he had found something else over here. I guess there's another trash up over there too. I think. Oh, yeah. he's gonna go for a random instead. I guess. Hmm. Med kits over a mocha potentially. Rough. All right. Well, he's out. Post now doing the same route as Cabbage going to that island. Probably gonna loot up on speed too because he doesn't have anything right now. Oh yeah. I the thing is with Rex, his hitbox is bigger than some of the other survivors so you kind of really do like having some speed to be a little bit comfy you know yeah definitely it's something that i've slept on in the past but just getting getting that speed up even if it it is taking it over damage is it's so beneficial just survivability is insane yeah. when you have enough speed 
And, this... and Cabbage, like, shouldn't struggle with staying alive, honestly, at this point, with this much speed. Mm-mm. Interesting. Zinc chose a uh, Mocha over Goat Hoof. I mean, it's totally fair. Yeah. But no one else did. I did too, actually. Oh, did he? Never mind. Mm -hmm. He did, actually. I see that. Which I think is a good call. It's just a little more damage. They don't really That's have fair. a proc build going right now, but it's something. And Host actually going to the Bazaar. Let's see what he finds. They all got the free blue portal, right? So oh. might as oh. well. Oh. Disputed is frothing right now. Oh, wait. Oh, no. He has to give up so yeah. much. Dude, he's gonna yeah he's he's the getting up a lot is, for this. He's going all in. It, okay, it's gonna be worth it, long term. But uh, it's still rough. Yeah, he's thinking about even giving up some more just for shuriken. But he says no, I'm not gonna. I need that speed, Damn. that watch, and that AOE. So I mean, hey, it could pay off. It might have been beneficial for Cabin Zinc to not. Oh, Zinc is actually doing it as well. Okay, so oh, he's gonna get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The thing is, Cabbage can still find the Drone Man. It's just the next blue portal he goes in, he'll see it first. Because uh, yep. he didn't go into a blue portal yet. And it actually Which, might be more beneficial if he yeah. has more green items by that point. Yeah, and if he finds a Scrapper, he can also just get shurikens Zinc without having to trade no his shurikens hesitation. for the Drone Man. Yeah, yeah exactly. He just got to do it. <laughs> okay. He got it. The only thing is, going into Fogbound, Fogbound has kind of expensive drones they have emergency drones and mm. i don't even know what other drones they have other than just the emergency drones maybe like the missile drones so both are like pretty expensive drones so we'll see if they even spawn any to begin with emergency drones are expensive and they take a lot of credits it's uh yeah they do it's stuff it's like expensive the, in multiple ways the little sibling to the tc drone honestly yeah. barely like fewer credits it's very close actually oh my god there's a jaros band printer on stage three as well that host just found all right thing is he wow. just got rid of all of his greens so he, hopefully he finds greens yeah. on this map um yeah i hope so there's also a runolds band that cabbage has from stage three mm. wow interesting but the thing is the only band proc they have or at least for cabbage right now is just his utility so it's not really consistent and it's going to cost some HP. Unless he gets really good with not getting hit and uh, using the saver spaces with it, I guess. Yeah. And a Z construct for the stage three teleporter. Cabbage already starting it up. He's he's going full steam ahead. He's not going to loot except for whatever he can after the teleporters. It's already almost dead. He's chilling. Which it's it's scary, but he's got the survivability to survive. And he has an FMP as well, which host just got. It's really funny, too, because Cabbage usually, um, with how I've seen him play, is usually the one to go into the blue portals and kind of cycle them forward. But yeah. it's, I'm surprised he didn't do it on stage two, like the, uh, the rest of them did. Yeah, that was interesting. And he didn't even hit the blue pro portal on this stage. He doesn't have a blue orb. Hmm. So Well, he might not know where the newts are. I think there's, and there's like more spots than some of the other maps on this one. It's like four spots that newt can be in. I think so. Yeah, I think so. It's quite a bit. Oh, it's now starting the teleporter. No drones in sight so far. I think he might keep the uke over the band, though, because like we were saying, doesn't really have a, a good consistent band proc here. He might want yeah. to be a more. The gamble is go all into that band printer for cabbage and then hoping there's like a capacitor or something, since, again, they already have a pillar skip with the saber spaces, so... They're not worried about finding a vase or wings or an egg or anything like that. What's the point of cycling a blue portal without checking the soup? Just to keep cycling it forward so that your opponent... You can get something that your opponents can't get. Because um, like even if you check mm -hmm. at stage one and you have like no ability to get the red item at all, um, you know, by stage five, if you've gone to the blue portal every time you're going to probably have an advantage and see something that the rest of the racers just never had access to even having. Yep. And it's, it's just a about being different. Yep. Yep. It could be a very good difference or a very bad difference. Like you could pass up an Aegis from the first bazaar and then get the drone man the second bazaar, or you could uh, pass up on the drone man first bazaar and then get the Aegis second bazaar. So just trying to vary your run from the others and hoping it's a, a good thing yeah the thing is like as we've seen more and more like when we have players on the same seed it's 
they tend to want to try to make their seed as different as possible as much as they can. Because sometimes if you're just going straight up doing the same thing on the same seed against someone else, uh, it's hard to think that, you know, maybe you're like, oh, I'll just be faster than them. It's all about strategy, right? And just saying like, okay, yeah. if I can get something better than them, then that can put me a little bit ahead. I don't have to worry about going just as fast as they are or something. And so. Cabbage out onto stage four, I don't think he found the band printer. Or if he did, then he just chose not to go into it because, again, not really consistent band procs. But even with this utility, it could have been beneficial. He has some pretty negligible green items. I think he would have considered keeping the quail, but also, I don't know, maybe he didn't see it, honestly. Yeah, I'm not sure. Try to keep a lookout for drones going into Abyssal. Mm-hmm. Because that's a big part about Zink and Host's run. If they can find drones, then they're going to start accelerating a lot compared to Cabbage's run. Cabbage had a little bit of a scary moment there. He got hit by the uh, voided Elder Lemurian, but he soaked it up with Saber's faces like it just came back. Nice. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it's a scary scary start to the, the, the uh, stage. Yeah, kind of backed in a corner with the, uh, the seed. And he kind of... I mean, let's check out the seed if we can. Oh, there are at least one Void Cradle in there. Let me see. Anything yeah, else? Yeah, Void Cradle, Potential, oh, and, and potential. I think two stocks. Another Safer Spaces. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. It's fine. The thing is, though, like, with Abyssal being kind of as small as it is, um, and it, the seed being so central, you pretty much are going to take it oh, out wow. eventually. A Resonance Disc. Yeah, there's a Resonance Disc with the FMP. Which huh. FMP does proc residence disc, so this could be man, I don't know. If if they went into the the band printer with the residence disc procs, that could have been a pretty good build, but I don't think anyone's gonna get that now. I think they need to throw down two FMPs for it to be consistent though. Is no? it two? Because like I think I it, del it degenerates by one by the time like the last mm. one comes out. Yeah, I think you're I mean, right. You and could it's not kill quick an enough. enemy while you throw yeah. it down but so for mi for the, for the mythrix fight it would only be really beneficial for phases two and three mm -hmm. if they're able to get those kills in enough time and if they keep the fmp yep so which... oh they have the fuel cell though which only cabbage has yeah and you know we'll see <laughs> yeah <laughs> hey it could be the time chat where we see the soulbound fmp run and it works Ooh. out dude oh Imagine they go for the legendary chest on this stage Ooh. and get the soul bound out of it. That would be hype. A uke out of the void potential for host. That's not bad. Cabbage is going to seek for the TP and hit it instantly. Mm -hmm. You can already tell. He's, he's on the lookout. He's probably going to kill this Titan, though. He's kind of not liking the, uh, the hands. Yeah, the hand so. man. Yep. <laughs> what is that? ATP will be interesting. Oh, that's an ATG kit? printer. Jesus. Oh, okay. Cabbage screen. Yep. Well, well this oh, is now man. really, really interesting because Zinc and Host had given up all of their greens from the first couple stages for Drone Man, but Cabbage has been yep. just slowly hoarding them up. And now he gets the payoff with all of the ATGs. I mean, obviously, I think that Host and Zinc are going to find that ATG printer probably, but um, they're not going to get as yeah. many as Cabbages. They'll still get a good amount. There's also a vase, which Host takes, oh. which, good call. Yeah. Because it's still going to save more time than a Host skip. And I mean, Host only have the FMP right now. quite a few drones at this point, too. He's getting some uh, some med drones here. So oh, yeah, bad. nice. There's three healing drones on Host. That's extremely good. Ooh, Host is looking good then. He has a lot of greens that he'll he'll be willing to give away for ATGs for sure. Oh, absolutely. A crowbar printer as well. I'm trying to think of how that'll combo with the ATGs. It could be good. Mm, not really for the Mythrix fight though, unfortunately. Mm. So what I'm thinking about right now is how stage five will be. Because if there is a chance at Empathy Cores, then... Uh... Oh, you know, man, the Sparks yeah. team, you know, also host is going in the direction of the ATG printer, so he will find it. 
We'll see if Zinc finds nice. Also, there's a Shatter Spleen on yep, the Shatter Gloucester Spleen up, from the TP so. drop, which, eh, they don't really have any crit. Rex's um, 0 0.5 proc coefficient on this primary means the bleed is halved of its duration. So. It's not bad if they get some crit, but they just don't have much. And they only have, yeah. this is what, 16% at best, and that's just on Zinc and Cabbage right now. No, 21% yeah. with Shadow that's okay. included. Right? It's not bad. Wait. Oh, they don't have, never mind, it's still 16. I thought they had like a Predatory or something. Yeah, they're going to give all those Predatories and sides up for those ATGs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cabbage has seven ATGs. Osa is going to have... Is Host going to try to keep his ukulele? I don't think he should, but no, I think he go. might. I think, yeah, I yeah, would go all into that. Zinc is doing what I would have done and keep the the Ruckler, I believe. I'm surprised he didn't go to more. He did have a uh, an infusion. I would have gotten rid of that one. But... Hmm. I think he just really wants to keep his Jaro's band since oh, Zinc yeah, has true. it. I mean, he could Host skip didn't find it. with it. So. Oh, so Zinc printed a Jaro's band, I think, on stage hmm. three. Interesting. Which, really good call. And now with three ATGs and a Jarrow's ban, it could be pretty good band procs. Oh, and Cabbage kept his Runeholds band with the oh, seven ATGs. Oh, that's so good, actually. Wow. <laughs> he got the oh, god man, roll. I don't know. Yeah. Zink is flying around in a cave with wings. Yeah, Zink is and a crazy he, like, man. went right into the bell. <laughs> He's scaring me. Oh, slow HP as well, trying to get through this with a horde of bells. There is a Void Seed on stage oh, five. Host. What happened? Plus no. five. He got the oh, bell shot man. right in the face. Dang it. Host was looking so good. He had the drone man build pretty solid. ATGs were coming. Oh, man. Oh, pain. That hurts. That's pain. All those bells are just he needs crazy. To move out of. Okay, he's good. He got him. If he kept the FMP for the boss fight, he probably wouldn't have been in that issue. But mm -hmm. he ended up taking the the vase instantly. I mean, I didn't see what happened either. But it looked like when he just focused on him right at the end there, that they all died immediately. Maybe he just wasn't focusing on the ads enough. Again, yeah, I wasn't watching too close. All of that. But... Yeah. Oh, and cabbage on the sky meadow. There is a void item laying on the ground. It's void is that crit. Okay. Crit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. With the shatter spleen, the perfect build. There's a shuriken on cabbage as well. Ooh, this is with, looking very good for cabbage. With the band he had, and also like every yeah. time that you shoot a shuriken and it procs an ATG and it procs seven ATGs, like that's really gonna be yeah. good. So that's good damage. Cabbage didn't find the pillar skip equipment, so his moon is going to be slower. He but he, he does again though. have the saver spaces for the host skip, so it's not like he's doing pillars. And you know what else kind of sucks? Host lost his three watches. He still does have yeah. Drone Man, which doesn't take watches, right? But it's still like, it just sucks, right? Yeah. Ooh, Pretty man. unfortunate that he was uh, put into that situation during the stage four boss fight. Mm -hmm. Zinc going mean, to loot some more? The thing is, with Rex, I feel like we could still see some deaths on uh, stage six, so... We'll see. Host is not totally out of it yet, yeah. but don't count him out. <laughs> so Host just used his vase, and his drone flew into the path of the vase and knocked him out of it. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> yeah. And a quick ris risk of resources splash from, from Host there. Oh, yeah. He, that's how he <laughs> communicates. You can tell when yeah. he's like trying to, to say something. And it's usually not good. <laughs> yeah, so now with this build, I think for everyone, even hosts, like even with the plus five, you can you can start this stage five teleporter instantly because oh, yeah. I mean you have the ATG stack, host and zinc have the drone man build. Mm -hmm. It's it's time to go. And the boss no was time easy, to lose so this stage. It wasn't uh, empathy cores or anything or or yeah, solace units. Unfortunate. Even if there were a gun on the stage, there's just not a solace unit that exists. So the Duke. Yeah. Unfortunately. I was trying to take all the pre spawns, which pretty good idea. Something that I've lacked on in the past is just leaving all the pre spawns alive and then 
dying extremely badly during this heliporter event. Oh, and host with another plus five. Oh, all those oh. void enemies just came in there. Man, and it was not like a good spot. It was uh, up on that yeah, little that a tough spot like, to be ramp on. and then they all kind of pushed into him. He probably yeah. needed to leave a lot sooner. It was probably not a good spot to even climb up to. It's just hard because you don't really have a way to escape. You'd have to just jump off. And Cabbage onto the moon. Look at that. Seven ATG stack, Runold's band, safer spaces for the host skip, FMP fuel cell for the residence disc procs. Yeah, that's it's beautiful. looking good. Let's see it. I want to see being a little more too. methodical for the teleporter. Mm -hmm. I think after last stage, he was a little bit spooked and he's like, you know what? Let me just <laughs> make sure that I don't yeah. do that again. Not that he died, but it was getting a little bit scary. We might see a bull rug situation. We have two void enemies on the oh, TP true. with the Z construct still alive on, uh -oh. on a host screen. Hold your breath. Hopefully we don't see uh, a void touched boss, but, uh, a void touched construct is uh, pretty yeah, that's scary. <laughs> Don't you love when you spawn in on oh a map boy. and like one of those is already in there, and then it just yeah, looks great. at you from cross map and you die instantly. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Z constructs and how they work. We see Cabbage doing the host skip now in the oh, B one spot. Make sure so he's gonna eyes end are up using. Cabbage. Yep, he's gonna end up using three of his utilities and taking honestly not too much curse. Only four curse stacks for the, the first utility use. As long as he doesn't mess this up. And goes up again. Oh, all the way up. Nice. Yeah, here we go. And that is Easy. the host skip. Very well executed. And Very Zinc well onto the moon as well. And he has his vase, so. So Cabbage only took 15 curse stacks there. That is enough to lose one shot protection so he could still die in one shot to something like pizza but it's overall not too bad considering like usually the stack amount that people end up with uh in the fight and it look at that there he actually shot out two fmps knowing that he'd get a resonance disc proc and it did but i think it like missed a little bit so <laughs> yeah i think it only did like the piercing damage and not the explosive damage because it, yeah. it went too far Unfortunately, That's the problem with Resident Disc, it likes to miss constantly. So, uh, Zinc is gonna get first place here, I think. He has the Drone Man build, he has the ATGs. Like, Cabbage's build is good, but Zinc's moon was fast. He's already he gonna start the phase one right now. I don't know. This is, this is looking scary for Cabbage. I don't know if, uh, I think it might be a bizarre diff where he just didn't get the Drone Man. It's gonna be close. We'll see. Cabbage already passed halfway through the phase one. Zinc starting now. Man, those drones, dude. Oh my god, that was a very good ATG proc for Cabbage there. Ooh. Cabbage is really betting on either bands to proc from his ATGs or getting that lucky sticky bomb too. If he gets that, yeah. that'd be... And like even getting a crit off of the ATG to something would be amazing. I mean, there there could be something to be said about if Cabbage just gets really lucky here with his ATG procs, it could out damage Zinc. It Let's could. See. Zinc is already halfway through phase one. I mean, obviously Zinc's going know. faster, but and Host is now on the moon. He did pick up the vase as well. Nice. And he has a fuel cell as well, so now his moon is going to be faster than Zinc's moon. Mm-hmm. All right. I mean, Zinc is closing the gap pretty quick, but it's not like he's yeah. so much faster that it's like insane, you know? Phase two with Drone Man, though, it's just so much AoE, I guess. Oh, yeah. Because they're just attacking so many different enemies that he really doesn't have to single one out like Cabbage had to do. But that being said as well, phase three kind of runs into the opposite problem where like the drones are attacking adds instead of Mythrix. So we'll see. Yep. And they also die. They can single target him. So hopefully he has enough to even get a drone back or something. Yep. We see host starting phase one. 
facing to the complete opposite side of the map from Mithrix, I don't think this is the right play. He's not going to be able to really hit his M1s, which you can see. His ATGs aren't going to be proccing. He's not really in the fight. He's relying Wonder solely why. on Drone Man. Here we go. Now, now he's getting Gavin his M1s in because he's closer. Bit. Oh, wow. Why, why is he there? <laughs> he got slapped up. Zinc now done with phase two. All right. Oh, boy. Phase I don't three know. Time. It's really close. And also, like, Cabbage does have the FMP with Resonance Disc, and he did just use it. And it did actually do mm -hmm. really well there. So, I mean, if he can get, like, an ATG off the Resonance Disc, it could oh, be huge. Oh, jeez, Cabbage. <laughs> it scared yeah. me. Oh, dude. I mean, I don't know. I think as, if Cabbage mm. keeps up this pace, he's going he's gonna to take it. Yeah, I think he just outpaced the Drone Man build. Mm -hmm. It just so He's many. He's going ATGs, TP to dude. TP. Yeah. Even with a slower skip than a vase, I mean, the damage I will say, of FMP really helped. Yeah, he just and he did get just lucky. Worked. Nice, nice. <laughs> he did get lucky because if that ATG printer wasn't there, Cabbage would be so slow right now compared to the other two. Oh, absolutely. So. He did kind of get lucky that he was able to get rewarded from having just such good pace and having that one ATG printer to just turn Why the entire build around. Is not dying phase four, and he's good. Yeah, and it looks like he's chilling. Zinc now wrapping up phase three. Host wrapping up phase one. We'll see if Zinc gets a uh, a skip here. He does. Oh, he just used his fire ban. I don't know when he's going to jump though. Looks like he's trying to hold off. He's trying not to use mired urn. Okay, drone looks man like it trying be to good. ruin it. And get the band proc. Nice. Nice. Yep. Good phase four skip. From Zinc left bottom. Oh man. I was really close. But Zinc still does have a uh, a vase. He could get to the ship sooner than Cabbage. Oh, he actually can. Oh, dude. Don't oh. use your shift for the portal. Shift right up. Oh man. I think Cabbage just uh -oh. barely outpaced. Oh go. <laughs> Dude, uh, what the fuck? Uh, no, I think Zinc gets I... it. I think Zinc gets it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this is going to be like by two seconds. But I It's think less Zinc... than two seconds. It's, uh, it's really that close. No. <laughs> it's really that close. The base difference. Wait. That's, that's just how powerful base is, even with the host skip. It's just, it's so much time save on the moon. Dude. Oh man. The fucking snipe. <laughs> We're gonna have to wait for the website to give us a very accurate time here. I don't even know. Yeah. It holy. <laughs> Seventy looking... at thirty-three thirty-two. Seventy at thirty-three thirty-one for zinc. Oh no. Dude. <laughs> so zinc gets it by less than a second. Yep. By a second or less. It's less. Oh, no. <laughs> that is... Dude. That is crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. The Cabbage's fight, he ended the Mythrix fight substantially quicker than Zinc, but just the the vase and the phase four skip that Zinc had was phase extremely four clutch. Plus phase. I mean, yep. it, never underestimate how much time that the vase saves uh to getting to mythrix and getting away to the ship it's yeah. crazy it's powerful. look at that time zinc ahead by less than a second and he gets no. the uh the points because of the base man <laughs> oh. holy shit i'm wearing the classic cabbage bad run next <laughs> oh my god i'm gonna uh, wow can you go ask sulky to see if there's like how many frames difference that is because we can only see so many numbers here. yeah yeah yeah. i'll try to I'm see gonna that. bring uh cabot and sink in hello how's it going uh, yeah, go next i'm an interesting <laughs> run so you guys you guys finished less than a second apart from each other <laughs> by the way yeah 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 hunters is next right <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right let's go so um the main thing was actually zinc's clutch phase four skip and just having the vase to get to the rescue ship quicker than cabbage that was oh, it yeah 
Cabbage's Mythrix fight ended before Zinx, but oh boy. Uh, I gotta say, <laughs> Flip State Rex is tough. Where really was difficult. the where was base? Stage four. Uh, yep, oh, stage right. four. One of the there's also wings on stage four. Mm -hmm. You also okay. missed the drone parts in Bortle. Yeah, oh, that's my drone parts. Nope, just you seven ATGs. Get, yeah, way more ATGs than everyone else because of it. <laughs> With yeah. the Runolds band. <laughs> there was, I mean, you finished the Mythics fight substantially faster, but it was just the the skip plus the vase to the ship. That was the yeah. Did Sulky yeah. say how close it was, or was he not there? No, he's he's AFK. Okay, we'll find out later. We'll find out soon how yep. close it actually was. It was like there were very few frames in between you guys finishing. Oof. It was so fucking crazy. Yeah, that was tight. <laughs> Cabbage on the or sorry, gamer host on the phase four now. Just Let's finished off the phase does. three. And pretty good real time for host as well. He unfortunately had two plus fives, one from the uh the horde of bells in the stage four cave. Oh yeah. And then <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just yeah, I guess that is the thing. He had so many allies that those bell shots were just going anywhere and everywhere. So it's it was scary, it was man. pretty hard to predict. And then again on stage five with the uh the void enemies, the pre spawns. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. The elders. Yep. Yeah. Elder moment. There we go. Host finishes up. Uh, we can probably bring him in once he gets to the ship. But I don't. He has kind of low health. I don't want to distract him if he's on the ship or something. Yeah, we don't want a grub situation. No. He has spaces bug though. Oh, it doesn't. Oh yeah, he's chilling. Yep, he All does. Right, we'll, we'll bring him in then. Hello, host. Keep charging the ship. You're good. Now yeah, there we go. Well, on to the next one, boys. <laughs> How was the, the uh, next? How was the run host? Well, Besides fucking, the, I mean, you know, just the literal everything God that gives you, and then you go into the cave at abyssal depths, and your drones decide, yeah, we'll follow you part way. But as soon as you hit the teleport, we're gonna path all the way around the entire map, and then oh, we'll yeah. go back into the cave, and that's really <laughs> cool. You know, that's just uh, I didn't remember. I don't remember how terrible drone pathing is, and that's why I lose. Yeah, it's kind of sad. Your whole build AI. just kind of flew away from you. Yeah, <laughs> it literally flew away. <laughs> yeah, then we had a uh, stage five where apparently I got hit by three orbs of an uh void touched elder. Where I mean, all of them were splash damage, I didn't get touched directly by any of them. Yep, so that was that was really cool. I like that moment too. Pretty it was good, tough, but you did pretty good but otherwise, I mean, honestly. Yeah, you had some good calls. You uh, you got the drone man, cabbage did not get the drone man. Mm -hmm. He didn't go to the bazaar at all, and he's still but there. he did. He did then have so many more greens that he he got seven ATGs from that printer. So, yep. drone man was a yep. throw. No, I mean Zinc took drone man and he won. So, yep, by mm -hmm. like less than a second, <laughs> barely. <laughs> Which is, yeah, very cool. Better player wins. What can I say? It's true. Yeah, true. <laughs> well, a good road from uh... all you guys. A comfy first loadout for us today, right? Yeah. A nice, very fun loadout Rex to start yeah. us off. I mean, we Rex did have always easy. Uh, saver spaces, an ATG printer, and a base. So. A band printer, stage three. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that too. Jesus. Yeah. But no one really went yeah, into yeah, that. That was Wait, really where? cool. Like, you know, you just yeah. print away six light items, get away all of your, your speed, and then, uh, you know, just the next stage, you. Yeah. Yeah, I guess yeah. that was the thing also. You did sacrifice majority of your mobility just for the, the drone man build where yeah. Cabbage ended up leaving stage two with like, I don't know, two drinks, two hooves, some mocha, something like that. It was a lot of movement speed. A lot of movement Wait, speed, yeah. Where was the band printer? It was in the, it was the edge. Over yeah. by uh, oh, the water. Yeah. Yeah, in the wall of one of the chests, you could see on. like you could see like two green pixels, and if you went all the way over there, oh yeah, no, that's my fault. Yeah, the the underwater <laughs> prion chest area. Oh, we're talking yeah, about yeah. the the, P, the great PSG cloaked chest. I thought it was a drone. Oh yeah, I got I really heavy. I really hoped it was a drone to get that. <laughs> so, like was I was cool. trying to find that for like ten seconds because I lost it for that. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, PSG diff. True. <sighs> 
Well, luckily we have run. a better loadout for you guys today. Next, yeah. it's the uh, it's huntress. a nice huntress loadout. No, you love comfy huntress. All of your favorite triple blink. Uh, characters today. So you got straight chilling. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we'll see how the seat is though. <laughs> I just hope. Yep. Uh, More well, German. We'll see you guys on the other side. Uh, good luck in the loadout. Good luck. Bye bye. Thank you. I'm 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 going back into risk of resource. Don't worry. You drag me and I have to pull this all up to get out. Yep. All right. I, I can drag you out. Okay. He's well. gone. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, not too what bad of a stage order, I think, for for Huntress here. Oh, this is potential fun. prion from stage three, which I potential think potential TC drone too. So. Oh, you know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, maybe we'll get another drone parts again, and then it'll be. Uh, Probably still not worth the time to purchase the drone. <laughs> uh. Oh, I wasn't playing Zinc screen for a second. It's right, he's not important. It's lagging me. <laughs> uh oh, help me out. I'll uh, I'll do a play by play. We got a small chest with a stealth kit. We have a stun printer. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Screen is lagging me out, dude. All right, we're good. I'm here. Cool. Jesus. Uh, looks like a lot of gunner turrets, which unfortunately takes up a decent amount of director credits to spawn interactables on the stage. So mm -hmm. hopefully it's not too much of an issue. Hopefully they still get a good amount of chests. There's a large chest near spawn, so I think they'll all get that. Maybe they'll just go into uh, into drones, and then get another drone mate. Easy. Yeah, dude. Easy. Also, since we're at like the server run here, I want to remind everyone coming in, uh, make sure you click on the new bingo link. I know some people were using the old one or like keeping the same one every week or something. Click on the new one because we have a new uh, one this week. So thumbs up. Exclamation point bingo. So yeah. items so far, there's a repulsion armor and a mocha, which is pretty good. Penny printer looks like cabbage. Oh, oh yeah, right penny in. printer. Yeah. Right on spawn too. Love so. that. That should incentivize people to potentially leave good white items on the ground and get the pennies. At least one is really beneficial. Focus crystal out of a damage chest on host. Oh man, it, so the penny printer was behind them when they spawned in. I don't know if host found that printer. Hmm. And I think he's going right to the teleporter. It's so interesting um, okay, he's not when you good. spawn in and just... If you just turn left or right, you might see something totally different than someone else. <laughs> yep. Always it's try crazy. to scout as much as you can. Like, even if you're trying to go fast through the stage and, you know, trying to path through it. But, you know, look around you, too. It's really important. Take, mm -hmm. uh, take stock of what's on the stage if you can. Yeah, routing and pathing and really just observing the stuff that has spawned on the stage is really important for these. There's some good items, though. I mean, AP round, wrap, pennies on zinc. I will say Cabbage is starting it up. I mean... And Cabbage a with a hoof build. and mocha. Yeah. The AP rounds is something everyone is taking, obviously, so... And Host did start his run a little bit later than the other two, so it's kind of hard to compare just how close they are, but they should be about on pace with each other. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were on pace last run too. So, <laughs> yep. That I still can't get over uh, how crazy that was, dude. Yeah, that that was so close. Host found the penny printer now, after he got his focus crystal and AP rounds, Ooh. and you could just see the way he he moved his camera. He's like, "Oh God, not this!" And he loses the AP rounds it? for he's it. He's gonna risk. Ah, oh, dude. Pain. I mean, we oh, he's, even look he's at getting. Zane. He's disputing. Is, yeah, he's getting a ton of money for free. Oh, that's really farming. good though. He kept the repulsion armor. He's gonna be able to take a lot more hits and really get the benefit out of it. Oh, okay. He got a key instead. Yeah, we'll see if Reasonable. he changed his mind about that. <laughs> I mean, we'll see. I think <laughs> keys are really powerful during the races, so. Yep. I think the key is a good call because it I mean it, it can have just game changing items in it. For free, you don't even have to spend money 
to uh to open them up for free. It's free. I'm yawning. All right, I'm good now. And host using those wisps to get some money going. He's at a hundred dollars now. Look at that. I wonder how much more loot there is on the stage. Sink obviously has some things in mind. It looks like he's mm. gonna get some drones. Uh, maybe not. You Cabbage going for an equipment barrel. Ooh. Disposable missile launcher. Eh. That's okay. Yeah, that's it's fine. It's fine. Cabbage and Zinc playing the same <laughs> shrine the same exact second. It's getting they... robbed oh. for a, a war banner in the last one. <laughs> nice. That's tight. <laughs> Interesting. I think right. Host is going to go, since he did get the pennies right away, he's going to go full loot and then hit the TP and then just leave right after. Mm -hmm. Instead of going to the TP, pathing back, getting the stuff, and then yep. pathing back to the TP. It's always it's pretty good. It's hard to know when the right time to do that is versus just going to the TP and earning money that way. But with this map, it is mm -hmm. pretty big. So might be a lot fair. of wisp spawns, which is really helping him out. Yeah. Cabbage but, I on mean, stage two. Everyone did loot a lot here, though. I mean, look at Cabbage and yep. Zinc's build. It's almost the same exact items in the same exact order as well. It's oh. very close. And Zinc going to the bazaar once again. Ooh, Let's nice. see the drone, man. We'll drone man and TC up. drone with the pennies. <laughs> this is good. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, okay. it's eh. fine. It's, fine. it's not worth it. Oh, I mean, no. If he had five greens, I would say probably worth it because honestly, Frost Relic is really good AOE, a lot of survivability, especially for the teleporter events. But you just, I don't think I would give away any of my whites for it, unfortunately. I know it's good for the teleporter events, but for Mythrix, it's not going to really do much, unfortunately. So it's kind of like a front loaded item a bit. Something yeah, but like, the greens are pretty negligible for it. Unless they do find a green printer. I don't know. I would, it would allow them to be more comfortable I'd getting through the stages. I'd personally save like another soup or something or just take the gamble for something else if I could. Even if it felt like isn't bad for the first couple stages. Mm -hmm. Syringe printer on Cabbage's screen. Pretty close to the teleporter. I don't know if he's going to give up much for it, though. I mean, yeah, he has no proc items gas, yet. AP, he has 2 AP now, he has speed. Yeah. Unless he finds a uh, scrapper, I wouldn't. Yeah, not really worth it at this point. Maybe in the future it would be worth it if they find like ATGs, poly loot, something like that, but they don't mm. really have that much going for them right now, so I'll stick with the brute force damage. But all these hosts also going into the bazaar that are spawning right now, giving them so much penny value. I mean, look at Zinc. He has the yeah. double penny. He's rich. Three hundred dollars. Oh, and an empty bottle on Zinc. Yeah, it is unfortunate. Yep, playing a little too risky. And you just see the not... boss drop on Cabbage's screen. A band, a real nice. band. This is a good run. This is a really good start. Yeah, pretty well rounded right now. And he's going for the adaptive chest with the teleporter. It was a Took rose the red was gas. Red, I'm red surprised he, took, he didn't take the prion when he saw it, but maybe his his uh, reflexes were just a little too slow with uh, all the enemies around him. Zinc also doing the teleporter or the uh, adaptive during the teleporter. He's going past the red whip. He goes for a mocha. He shook his head so it looked like it, that was yeah. the one he wanted. I think he was going for a key. Maybe it was like right before it. Something like that. Potentially. I don't remember what the la the item before that was. Tough. Slug? Oh, okay. All right. Slug would have been alright. I guess for the the pennies. Yeah. Just help him Especially take if more damage. Any <laughs> void cradles on the stage or something. Yeah. And he pinged the wood shrine. Has he seen a void cradle that he wants to get? I don't think so. I don't know. Cabbage already done with the teleporter. We're looting up. There's another key on Cabbage, so whatever host gets out of this key, Cabbage will get out of the next one. If host finds his key, I don't even know where it is. An elephant. A jade huh? elephant. I guess with the pennies. It's I just mean, super easy money there. gen. 
And he's going to leave. Cabbage. Yep. Get out of here. Zinc has double gas, which is pretty cool. With the Will-O-Wisp, he's pretty set on AoE. It looks like Host Cabbage hasn't found any gas yet. now going for the Bortle. All right. So... It was a feather. Someone asked in chat if you think someone, especially Zinc, will go for the uh, the Legendary Chest Stage 4, which is like penny value. I think if they get a Titan and they take a laser from it with like wrap, I think absolutely it'd be so free. Like any one of yeah, them could do it, but like especially Hoax with stocks. three pennies right now. Yeah, that's so good. Uh, Zinc has Capacitor, by the way. Really good. With his band. With the band well. drop. Yep. Mm hmm. And Cabbage, a little too slow for the Prion chest, so. We'll stick I mean, with the Jade Elephant. Him and Zink are still so synced. They got in right at the same time. <laughs> yep. Stage 3. Oof. Did uh, Zink go blue portal? F yeah, he did. He did it first stage. Yep. And then Cabbage just did it last stage. So they are on the same blue portal cycle as well. And there is a Void Cradle right next to TP. Nice. And no Zink one... hitting TP instantly. No one really has healing, though. Like, Zinc has a scythe, but with no crit, so. Yeah. He's going to have to wait for the uh, Void Cradle, especially if he takes any damage here. Could she? We could see a potential Shatter Spleen, which could be pretty interesting. Which means the Syringe Printer could be really good if they get the Shatter Spleen and maybe find a little bit more crit. The hindsight tech. <laughs> yep. Just know what's coming ahead of you before yeah. it actually comes. Just map out the seat, and then as a caster, and a you're like, ah, oh, you should have done this. It's like, well... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for that. Yeah. <laughs> Ignition tank from the stage 3 teleporter boss, which with Zinc's double gas, he's chilling with AoE now. It's so good. Except he's taking a lot of damage. He is... <laughs> Those cows were bum-rushing him. He's shifting into every uh, stampede attack. <laughs> just... Yeah. <laughs> Which means Zinc will either have to find a healing item or spend a lot of time just waiting for the Void Cradle. So on host screen, he's not picking up the ban from the teleporter right now. And that kind of tells me that is like, is there a green printer on the stage or something that we didn't notice? Or something like that? Or is he just holding off for the Yeah, moment? I don't know. I guess maybe might as well not pick it up because it is right next to the teleporter. So if there is a green printer... He doesn't have to risk his band for it. Totally fair. Let's see. Yeah, host goes for the rosebud there. Mm, yeah. I think I would have, have the too. Mm, I mean, that's fair too. So there is a capacitor near host. I don't know exactly where the equipment barrel was, but Zinc did find it on this. And I think it's this equipment barrel right here that host is getting. I think so too. Nice. So he gets the capacitor and that's extremely powerful. And he gets this early key box, which is a guillotine. Dope. Really cool. Executing elites. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cabbage got the same one on stage three. Sorry. He got up on the little, uh, the radar tower area. And Zinc if... getting his key box now, getting the guillotine. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Cabbage is soaking up a lot of damage with, uh, with Jellyfant here and, and Rap. So he's just taking all that penny money and just gonna turn it right back into items for himself yep. so and kept 50 percent, so he can still open that void cradle which is nice really good Ooh, and it's a plasma shrimp and host got another rune span out of an adaptive chest on stage two no one else with the played capacitor. that one actually it was no. so far away from tp and it was like under the little lip there Dude, nice. Cabbage and Zinc opening the fucking same equipment barrel at the same exact moment is so funny. They all like they diverge a bit and they always like realign yeah, they come back. doing like <laughs> it's crazy. Watching some sine waves, dude. <laughs> so host did also find the key on stage two. He already opened his first key on stage two. So we can see the second key drop and see if it's pretty beneficial for him because he's the only one that has the second key right now. Mm -hmm, so just kept the one from stage one. Yep. Yeah. So it could be good. And double void seed stage four on Zinc screen. This is fun. <laughs> but they have the capacitor bands, gas ignition. Zinc shouldn't have any trouble clearing this out. 
Finally, there's a quickly. slug right in your spawn, too, for, nice. for things. It's like the first real healing of the run for them, so. Yep. And host going directly to the teleporter, I think, for stage three. Mm -hmm. Maybe getting one thing before he hits it. And Cabbage, second bazaar. Head stompers in the second bazaar. Boom. Oh, he boy. lost his ban for it, but hey, it's still really, really good, so. Yep. Guaranteed pillar skip with the host skip version one. Yep. Uh, just hopefully, I mean, he has plasma shrimp still with the AP round. We have two AP rounds and focus crystal. This is actually looking really good for Cabbage. I hope the other two hit the newt, because that could be a defining factor this run. It could actually be. Host is trying to get money from this imp, and it's missing him. It won't give him money. Okay. <laughs> That's the worst. I remember yeah. I was trying to use the, the larva on the last race I did, and the rats would just circle around me. I couldn't actually take the damage. <laughs> Cabbage oh going for the Good stomp old. on one of the uh, the void seeds and takes out like six monsters yep. instantly with it. So. Imp Overlord stage four TP. Zinc is already done and a shatter spleen. So there yeah. it is, but not a lot oh, of crit man. yet. Not yet. So far, Zinc only has what eleven percent crit right now. Unfortunately, with the scythe and shatter spleen. So yep. <sighs> not amazing. And Honestly, like, Cabbage is looking good with the Stompers, but during the Midrix fight, he's not going to be able to use Stompers unless he finds a Quail or yeah. some sort of mobility equipment. So it's not amazing. It is a pillar skip, but it's not damage for him, at least not yet for the Midrix yeah. fight. And there's a Bloom on Cabbage's screen as well. Oh, Ooh. boy. You think Host is going to take <laughs> the Bloom? I think Host is going to take the Bloom. I think Host is going to... Oh, Cabbage takes it too. Oh, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> all right i mean i didn't okay. see that one. i mean no, that's fair all right well let's go i'm down yeah. <laughs> maybe he'll he'll get the quail roll the thing the is like as much as i as a personal individual uh despise bloom it's actually it can be really good for the races and going fast you can just get really good uh red rolls for mythrix yep and i mean it's obviously a... it's a gamble and like you don't want to lose yeah. certain items obviously but you can get really lucky and get way more reds than you know you were able to get otherwise so yeah i think for cabbage here it's like let's pray for an icbm since i have my plasma shrimp already secured mm -hmm. and maybe a quail roll comes along with it for Drone just man really good damage but wouldn't be bad either. Man, of course yeah yep there's just some that are just that will help i mean behemoth also stuff like that yep there are a lot of bad ah, reds, scary, though, though. in the game. Yeah. yeah so it's it's a big, big gamble. The last time I chose Bloom during a race, I got Wake of Vultures and Smile Masks. That was it. So Smile. <laughs> it it can be good, it can be extremely bad. Yeah. We'll have to see how it pays out. Holy loot on Zig screen. Oof. Yeah, those void seeds are obviously worth taking out. I mean, there's so many void critters yeah. between all of them. I mean, dude, even on the upper one alone, it was already three Void Cradles alone, which is already worth it. And another out. Plasma Shrimp. Oh, man. I <laughs> These really items hope are crazy. Goes for him. The thing is, Cabbage could lose his mobility because of the Bloom. I, I don't know if the Bloom's the right oh, play. Oh, takes maybe... it too? Let's oh, my go. God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what are they? Okay, okay. All right. it's time, I mean, I guess dude. Zinc doesn't have the stompers. He's like, fuck it. Let's Log get it. Log <laughs> in. I think Host this is, is going to take crazy. This is a full Bloomin' run. Holy. I think Host is going to do it, too. He's got it. This is the Bloomin' He, he loves the Bloom play. He loves it. Also, both Zinc and Cabbage getting the Bustling Fungus is so good for opening all of these Void Cradles. Mm -hmm. Speeds up the process substantially. Oh, no. Oh, Okay, uh, Cabbage didn't clear out the void seed. get the polyloot and the extra plasma no shrimp. No polyloot, extra plasma shrimp, yeah. And someone asked and... earlier if Zinc was going to get the uh, legendary chest, and he did, and it was actually rejuvenation racks, so look at that. Dope. Really cool, so good. the reject, dude. Now the he reject. can fungus twice as fast. I will right, say it is so the most Cabbage, badass Wranglish. He got oh, Ben's yeah. raincoat, Will-O-Wisp, and Afterburner. So, okay. Afterburner is... is pretty nice. It's mobility if he loses the mobility from the 
the bloom so that's he good only lost a leeching seed for the brain coat so it wasn't like it was a huge loss for that anyway yeah not bad, all right not bad. so zinc he didn't got lose the ignition tank from bungus he got razor wire from focus crystal oh boy and that was not a good roll for him but it wasn't a bad roll i, I don't think one, i guess and he got saver spaces so he does have a pillar skip now as well Ooh. And he nice. got it out of the void key that Cabbage did not get. So he's not going to get the uh, saver spaces unless he finds a separate void cradle on this map and just happens to have it. Yep. Oh, uh, and look at that. Host with the bloom as well. This is a full yeah, I bloom knew it. run, chat. Dude. We are blessed. This Bloomed is the first time up. it's ever happened, I think. Every yep, single correct. racer got the bloom. I think at, we've only ever had one person at most <laughs> take a bloom in a race or something. Yeah. Maybe two? I don't even think two. Yeah, though. maybe two, but for sure never every single racer. So Hell this is no. this is a treat. <laughs> this is a treat. We, we gotta pay close attention though to what they actually get. It looks like Host did clear out the void seed and he is taking out uh or getting the top ones here, so he will find the poly loot and the extra Nice. Positive. And he got his bungus too, so he'll speed up the process. He is gonna get rewarded here. There he goes. And hopefully he hits TP right when he finishes looting all of these void items because his build is pretty solid as well. And he's also banking on Bloom, so it's kind of just like, I don't know, it, it's fine to loot up, but you already have a lot of items, so just go and see what happens. Yeah. Zinc on um, better pace now, passing up Cabbage's pace, finishing the teleporter off faster, 70% charged. The thing is, though, like... That headset is just kind of, apart from being a pillar scrip right now and a feather, it's kind of a paperweight for damage, right? Like he needs, a, yeah, he needs to get up somehow. And... There's no way to use it for the Mythrix fight. So and his it damage will be a faster host skip, which is good. Yeah, his damage without poly loot and plasma shrimp is just unfortunate. Yep, zinc leaving. He's gone onto the moon. Oh, Mark's Let's here. Let's see Mark. the. Tell me uh, how. What the time difference was in between Cabbage and Zinc's run for the first loadout? If Banner into Quail for Zinc. Okay, Quail's good. Which he doesn't have the Stompers. He got another Rejuvenation Rack from the Scythe. Double so. Reject, though. <laughs> Double Reject. And uh, an ATG from a Watch. Okay, not That's a bad roll. Good. That's good. Yeah. That's fine. Nice. So it didn't completely cripple his run, which is something that could happen with Bloom for sure. <laughs> That's good that didn't happen. Cabbage gonna loot some more on Sky Meadow before leaving. And let's see the the version two host him. skip. From so the Zinc. first one that we missed from Zinc in the last stage was him getting banned as his first item. Oh, actually, nice. Yeah. So which is he oh, has in the banned, void key on Zinc screen. Has more plimps. Oh, and here we go. What's in it? Another safer spaces. There's also a bloom in the in the void key. Yo. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We already nice. we already got that. <laughs> Cabbage still looting up, which I don't he's know. It's kind of weird because you have Bloom. Yeah, he's looking for something to activate the just headset, a quail. I believe. Yeah, yeah. Just anything I guess that can some help sort out. of equipment. He only has the Jade Elephant, while the other two have Capacitor. Mm -hmm. He knows this is going to be a really slow Mythics fight for him at this point. Yeah. And his good damage items are at risk. He could lose the AP rounds and. Have yeah. them turned into something not as beneficial. So, yeah, this could be kind of rough for Cabbage. Really unfortunate. It's just we see uh, Zinc doing the host skip now. Taking out the void seed and not here we go. Zinc strain. This is the universal the new tech. version two skip. <laughs> Only a single safer space is needed, along with a little bit of mobility. About one red whip, two uh, energy drinks, or three hooves will do the trick. So and does he actually have the speed for it? Yeah, he does. He's got Mocha too. Good. Oof. Gaming. That was about a one second difference from uh, that loadout. Jesus. Wow. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> and we'll see Cabbage now gain some speed because he does have the stompers for the host skip. Oh, who's Which saying? is substantially <laughs> faster. Oh, and he messed up it. Yeah, yeah, and look at right Cabbage though. now taking the lead because of the Stomper version 1. Well, skip. I mean, Zing has so much more damage. We'll see, but... Yep. Okay. And Zing now Soul getting Bound. up. Dude, if he had an FMP, man... I knew it was oh, that could have been so dude. good. 
It was the what run. What did he get? Oh, two resonance discs. Oh yeah, boy, he had the FMP. <laughs> yeah, he just steal the equipment from the last run. <laughs> now he's working with the the Jade Elephant Warhorn combination, which he's not pressing Q yet for the Warhorn. Again, just something that is kind of hard to keep in mind when you're racing. We saw it in the last race where I think it was Corny not using his equipment when he had Warhorn, which is more damage. So he might be trying to save to keep the elephant mind. just because he doesn't have a feather, and he's trying to use headset as much as he can. So he like he really doesn't have a feather that much. Maybe yeah. I don't know if Cabbage would do that. To be honest, I think Cabbage greeds as much damage output as he can. But you're in right. this case, I think he's just forgetting the Warhorn. Because it's cabbage. Throw yourself at the fight. <laughs> oh, look how fast Zink he's got is speed run just brain. slamming yeah. this fight down with the poly loot. Zinc's damage. Yeah, the poly loot that the cabbage didn't blimps. get. Oof. Capacitor double band. It's still like relatively close, but like we just know with his yep. damage thing is going to take the lead. He also has the capacitor still with extra bands, so. Yep. It's and impressive. host has a shattering justice. So all right. I was gonna ask for a second where he got that, but he has blue. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and blue. I think he got a second reju frack as well. He so. did. Dude, we're, nice we're paired up with Zinc. Up, man. Hell yeah. Oh, it was the cauldron. Oh Jacked never mind. The fuck nice. Up. Oh, it was a, a shattering justice cauldron. Interesting. Okay. Well, it has really good proc ability with polyloot, so that was a good call. Yeah. Good item. I hope uh, Host just leaves the stage after this because honestly, it's not worth looting. He's got his Host skip already. So let's see if he can do the Host skip. He was practicing today, so. Mm hmm. Practicing his own skip. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, it, it's a lot to learn and it's almost like a curse for, for the Host skip because. Like, yeah, it's so cool, but now it's like, oh my god, we have to study so much and so many different variants, and when's the best time to use certain versions of it? It's a I lot. Mean, I feel like that's how it's always been with everything, though. I mean, it, that's how it started with Phase 4 skips and yep. all that kind of stuff. There's so much Boss skips. homework to learn if you're a racer for one of these things, so mm -hmm. keep that in mind. It's on the tests, so. Yep. And if you fail, you die in real life, so. That is true. We've already killed multiple people. All right, I'm kidding. But... <laughs> yep. Where's Raydan's at? Yeah, think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Weird we haven't seen Wooly in a, in a race in a while, huh? Oh, damn. Wonder what happened. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Zinc's damage is just, just far surpassing far Cabbage's ahead. here. Yep. Should be a pretty easy as long as he doesn't zinc it and die to the last round of pizzas. We should he be saver spaces. We're chilling. Yeah, we should be seeing a zinc. Does dub he have once a again. phase four skip? Mm. Ballista That's... can. It's hard. It's very hard. <laughs> yeah, he's not even. Oh, he got it. Oh, he got it. All right. Nice. Cool. I don't know. He what didn't do did enough that. damage. Maybe the plasma shrimp. Oh, he didn't. Okay. No, you have to do enough did. damage chat to stun him actually out of stealing your items. So while he did a little bit there, it just it wasn't quite enough yeah, it wasn't to enough. actually do it. All right. But I mean, easy phase four, not really an issue. He's going to wrap this up and get a pretty solid time, just about a 30 minute. Which for these runs, it's not bad at all. No. We see host on the moon now with drone man. Oh, here we go. But he no drones, only has unfortunately. Drone, man, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Uh, uh, not amazing. Does uh, he go for the host skip? Let's see if Cabbage can get out of this run without getting a plus five. That's the big thing. If he plus fives, then host has host like a is real chance. Yep. Oh, he took a big swipe there. Jesus, he scared me. <laughs> He's going he's, for some measly he does have stomps. The elephant. Yeah, he's kind of missing too. Just, it's a real shame. Like usually, if you get a headset, it's over. You pretty much just, you know, you're you're gunning for the lead, right? But yeah, it's, it's a DG. This is just but... one of those situations where it just didn't really pan out for him, especially with the bloom. Yeah, actually, bait. 
It's crazy. And we see Host with pretty minimal mobility. Is he going to go for pillars? It looks like Host is going for pillars. Instead of going for the I think host, he's yeah. not confident with his... Yeah, he might not be confident enough. Oh, he doesn't have the mobility. He knows <gasps> it. He's like, I, I'm super slow. I have a single hoof worth of speed. It's not enough. Because you need enough mobility to push yourself farther away from the arena so you don't hit the bottom of the arena, and which would stop you from going up. So he already knows it. He's like, I lost all my mobility. It's over. Bro, Gotta do pillars. That Painful. is so brutal, man. The bloom strikes. Struck hard. Yep. Rough. Host not being able to actually do his host skip because of the uh, unfortunate loss of speed. I said GG from Zinc. Let's bring him in. Hello, Zinc. Yo. What up? So you seemed like you were pretty happy with the outcome of the Bloom, actually. Oh, I'm a Bloom enjoyer. Yeah. I almost got Hell yeah. Just because I love it so much. Reject up. Um, <laughs> you got some bands, some extra ATGs and stuff. Like You're, in, yeah. you're enjoying it's it. Good Bloom. Good Bloom. Was it not good bloom for someone else, perchance? Uh, I don't think it was necessarily not. bad for anyone. So yeah. they all took it, <laughs> which yeah. was pretty funny. Um, Cabbage has a double resonance disc soulbound Jade Elephant. Oh. Uh, with an afterburner, I think, from the bloom as well. Host got a drone man with no drones, unfortunately. Also got a second rejuve wreck. Oh, yeah. So nothing too bad. I think host might have lost his mobility from the bloom, which stopped him from being able to do the host skip. So he's just uh, now finishing pillars, unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately. Yep. Do we want to pull host out, by the way? Uh, probably, right? Depends how what do you think? fast it is. I guess but... we can, yeah, we can feel out phase one, see how it's looking. Let's bring in cabbage. Hello, Cabbage. Hello, what's up? Hello. You found Headstoppers too? No. Nope. Oh. It was really rather unfortunate for you because you weren't able to really, like, fully utilize the headset for damage. And you lost... Uh, I was yeah. hoping I would keep my band, so, like... Yeah, I lost the band too, which sucked. Yeah. Yeah, it was almost kind of bait. How was your bloom? How did you feel about your bloom? I mean, it didn't do anything. It gave you <laughs> Afterburner, that was it. Yeah. I mean, the Afterburner was nice, considering you could have lost your mobility, but... Yeah. yeah. Not oh, really anything too special. I, really need. I think oh, the main almost. thing you were looking for was, like, a quail out of the bloom. That would have been really nice. Listen, the main thing he was looking for was an FMP, alright? That would have been hype. <laughs> that would have been good uh, with the Soulbound double resonance disc. Holy. What Some banging fun? damage. I had Huge. that for the Rex run, didn't really do anything. Yeah. <laughs> it had some Still good covered. hits, but yeah, it's it's hard to get the resonances to hit Mithrix. Yeah, or like big damage. <laughs> like... So the others got like good stuff from the from the bloom. Uh, Zinc know. did get bands and extra plasma shrimps. The biggest thing that uh, you I missed out on, watching. Cabbage, was stage four. You didn't do the void seed, and in that was extra plasma shrimp, mm -hmm. poly loot, void keys for safer spaces. Yeah. All the just, good stuff. You just have to hope that it's bad, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There were so gamble. many like yeah. void cradles though. But, uh, it was just like Yeah. It was tough. There was some good shit in there. Especially with the bustling fungus rejuve rack that Zinc had. Those cradles were being popped. Faster. Oh, yeah, did you? Like, okay. Yeah. Double void. Literally, not you. Double void seems to take so long. So, would have taken. It was like, twenty-two three enemies, minutes. but with the AOE, it cleared quite quickly, actually. Yeah. Like, I yeah. The double gas first, ignition like, tank. I thought I have enough. It's going to be like a thirty-minute run. I just go and hope it's paid. Yeah, that's a fair gamble. It yeah. was fair. Didn't pay off, but. Nope. Unfortunate. <laughs> I'm used to but it. Yeah, other than that, the bloom wasn't really too kind for anyone else. Uh, host has a drone man, but zero drones because he, I mean, he didn't know he was going to get a drone man, so he, he wasn't going to invest in drones. So he has good damage, though. Nonetheless, he got a shattering justice from the bazaar, I guess, which oh, was nice. I, so what? chat said it was bizarre. I think yeah, they might be wrong. They're lying. There's no yeah, way. I think chat's dumb, actually. So I that was probably from the bloom as well. 
Yeah, because Cabbage, you went into two bazaars. Yeah, and you I got the you got right. the headset from I the second. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, and then the capacitor stage two. You also oh. missed that cabbage. Oh yeah, you missed that. That was important, I think. That was important. Yeah. Uh stage three I went around and got a bunch of equipment barrels, but stage two I was just trying to go fast. Yeah. Stage two, it was on the land island. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yep. I just didn't yep. have money for that. Pain. Yeah, that was pretty big. And then host actually found his second Runodes band from the adaptive chest on stage two as well. So Oh uh, yeah, I guess I just got a red buff from that. Mm. No, actually, the okay. second adaptive chest. Oh, not the one next okay. to the teleporter. Yeah, <laughs> host with a phase four skip. Really good job on that Mithrix fight. So, how did Sing do things so fast? Oh, the plant. Uh, okay. Spaces for spaces skip. Uh, okay. Yeah, that that void scene was huge then. Mm -hmm. I just thought the TP is in the cave. I'm not going all the way back. I don't feel like it. Makes sense. Yep. I'll bring in a host in here. Hello, gaming host. Yo, what up? You're fine to keep charging, but... I'm not even on the ship yet, and you're already throwing me in. This is like... Yeah, that's kind of toxic, back. honestly. All right, hold on. We'll put him out. Yeah, bring him... That yeah, take him out. A little bit, a little bit toxic. All okay, right. now hey. he's on the ship. Oh, hey. hey. What up, man? Hi, uh, what's up? Hey, how's it going, guys? <laughs> so, Riskofresources.com. True. Yeah. Everyone, Anyways. every one of you took Bloom. <laughs> just so we're on the that same page. That was fun page. to see. Yeah. Um, host, you and Zinc both got the double rejack, funnily enough, but there were no That's... other really crossovers between what anyone got, I don't think. Um, yeah. You got Drone Man and Shustis, right? So you're probably yeah, the with, luckiest. with all my drones. Out of anyone, though. Massive I mean... amount of drones. <laughs> yeah, that is the thing. Like, you got the drone man super late. You didn't even yeah. know that you were going to get it, so you're not going to invest actually, in it. I was saying, <laughs> as I was leaving, wow, I should have probably bought a drone or two because it's going to fucking give me mm. drone man. And, you know, there there it is. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then the unfortunate thing. I'm, the moon, I'm playing Huntress, and it's beyond yeah. 30 minutes, so I've already lost. Did you have mobility before picking up Bloom? Or was it just low mobility the whole time? I lost my hooves. Okay, so that's what we thought. You that's tough. ended up losing your host skip because of Bloom, unfortunately. <laughs> so you had to do pillars, but yeah, I think pillars would have been faster, even if, like you know, if I could host skip with the speed that I had. Mm. Uh, the problem of that being is, or like you know, with the setup that I had, um, it takes like two minutes to run over there, and I couldn't yeah, use yep. all pillars. Mm -hmm. which were all lined up perfectly and then what happens you know after the soul pillars there is the the launch right next to it so you know it's just kind of i think maybe if you go back and look from the time i started my first pillar probably only took me a minute and a half host skip you got to fall down and let re safer spaces recharge for its 15 second duration like three or four times which is another minute um on top of having to run farther out so i just felt like it was the faster choice of the two um, yep, and probably. you actually didn't have the mobility anyways. Yeah, for it. So, yeah, but pretty good run. I mean, still low thirties to mid thirties run on hunters you know, during a gauntlet race. Really good. Pat, pat in the back. I I appreciate it. <laughs> you did do good. All right, <laughs> but time to uh, put aside the comfy loadouts and. Like Rex and uh, and Huntress, and go back down to uh, yeah, yeah. default that Rex commando. Was super comfy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dander. Let's do it. I love roll. Anyone else love roll? Raise your hands. Roll so much. Yeah. No one else. All right. Well. Oh. <laughs> well, I've got a few things to say about slide. A nasty ability. Yeah, and we're gonna dirty slide ability. you out of the call and go play. <laughs> well, thank you. It saves me the time. Anyway, yeah, good luck, you. guys. We'll see you guys back in uh, <laughs> after the run. See ya. Good bye bye. Luck. Good luck. Oh shit! Oh, you fucked up. Put him in cabbages. Call. There we go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right, on the good old dander. Hell yeah! Love it. We're gonna see Everyone's them full favorite. loot substantially. Oh yeah, everyone. <laughs> 
this is gonna be like a normal like non speed run everyone's just gonna loot up and then <laughs> and then uh, find the head stompers yeah and then they Easy. go to mythics but i mean I like a uh, huh? zinc's quit to desktop button is labeled don't press this <laughs> <laughs> Custom uh, coded funny. that for himself because he kept clicking <laughs> it. <laughs> He's so enlightened. Look, his commander was so enlightened. It's crazy. Oh, there's the FMP again. Yo, dude, nice. just on the wrong time. run. It's time. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, at least they can they can know that they have the FMP stage one. Maybe they'll invest in some some synergies. It's not cope, guys. It'll work out. It's good. It's hype. Uh, it's that's not gonna work. The problem is like you know, FMP is one of those items that's just you're only really ever gonna use it in like a really full looting run, and even then, it's so hard to find a run for it. Um, it yeah these days it feels like even with full looting, it's almost like locked to a a looping build with a yeah I feel DLC. Like it, it was probably more viable pre DLC just because yeah. there was less items and there was no items really introduced that. FMP can use with the DLC. Yeah. And like really it needs the soulbound to be like super viable or like a million yeah. uh, fuel, fuel cells, cells obviously. Yeah. yeah. So there's also two lunar pods on this stage, so that's cool. There's just a lot of negative credits <laughs> to spawn actual items for them. Yeah. And we're gonna pick up double beads of fealty that'll be taken away from their inventory on the next stage. So mm -hmm. dope. That is um it's 25 credits per uh, lunar pod, so they just lost three items worth of credits, essentially. Pretty good. And then a scrapper. <laughs> and they also have a squid polyp and a watch, so at least they have at least one usable item for this stage, but... Jesus, man. Not a good start for Dander. No, it just reinforces the idea that they're just going to have to loot up so much. This first stage is not going to really do them much... Uh in terms of favors so yeah they're gonna have Zink to find actually using his squid else. polyps yeah for the teleporter event with the the two money barrels that are next to spawn or next Which to the tp huge and what we're also see is yep. what we're also seeing as well is like whenever the vagrant shoots out an orb it's really important to pierce through the orb to hit the vagrant with the the phase round it can do a lot of damage that way and you yep. can see zinc and cabbage already doing that quite a bit is the door open? I don't know. I don't think I saw it open. It's going to pull up strong. I see it on uh, host screen. It's not the strongest. Squid pops are pretty strong. They can be. They. I mean, you really need a caffeinator for them to be any sort of viable for oh, zinc. mid to late game. <laughs> but the problem is... They, they can be really good for just getting through the stages. Eclipse 1 nerfs them so hard. And they got a Genesis loop. Well, look at that. Okay. This is the we'll tool it. they use to win. Gloop build, the first ever during a race. I'm ready. Man. Crowbar printer. I'm ready, dude. Let's see it. Let's trade in the watch. You don't need that anymore. You know, just send it. Yeah, nah. <laughs> Not worth it. Gloop all the way. I really wish there was a way to activate Gloop without breaking your watch and without breaking an elixir also or whatever. Yeah, it'd be nice. I just feel like ever since DLC... Uh, I don't want to use Genesis Loop even more because I don't want to lose items every time yeah. I use it. And then it. you can't even use Plasma Shrimp either because uh -uh. you take damage. So it's like, ah, all right. Oh, and there's the crowbar on Gamer Host. It's happening. It's happening. It's, happening. <laughs> it's actually happening. <laughs> <laughs> the build. There have been NG loadouts with uh, Gloop in the same run, and they've been the best runs, actually. Yeah, those are actually extremely powerful with Dude, they're so the engineer turrets. What is Zink gonna find in this chest right now? I'm ready. Okay. You know that's not bad. Sure. I mean it's the More best items. time to find it. Stage yeah. one. Stage yeah. one. More items for the default commander. Who definitely needs items in order to be successful. Especially yeah. at a quick pace, like these guys are trying to do. Double crowbar. Holy. Double crowbar on the Genesis loop. Dude. GG. <laughs> they they need active healing. <laughs> oh, they find it. And there's a toy shop that? that Zinc didn't find. Just stay under twenty five percent health oh. forever. Hey, and always be med grouping. kit. Med kit on cabbage. Ah. There it is. 
<laughs> it's a really secret item way in the back there around the, yeah. the edge. So it was a double stun med kit tri shop, which honestly, I'd for sure rather have the stun grenade on commando than one med kit on Eclipse 5 plus. Yep. Same. <laughs> We haven't seen the second item in that scam shrine, so maybe host will have enough money to let us see what it is. Maybe. And I know someone's going to ask, um, Sinkhead Beads, where did those go? Why can't he use the cleansing pool? The beads only stay for the stage that you're on. And that's just a yeah. custom house rule, so smile. We don't want them to accumulate like five lunar items and just bring it to the next stage and just dump a bunch of items into the, the cleansing pools. Because, like, in a real run, it's just not, like, that realistic, because they would be real Lunars anyway, right? So. Yep. Yep. I think we saw two cleansing pools on another one of the maps today. Okay, I don't know, though. I don't remember. I mean, we have time. This is a, this is a failing day, so. Pretty mediocre stage two. I mean, it, it can be really good. I don't like that it can spawn cleansing pools in the fact that the people who do use lunar items aren't able to actually accumulate lunar items on this stage because lunar pods never spawn ever. And also the fact that if the stage tries to spawn a lunar pod, it will take the director credits used for that potential spawn and just get rid of them. So it's just <laughs> negative credits if it tries to spawn a lunar pod. It's because it physically can't spawn them, which is yeah. ridiculous. This is the only <laughs> stage two map as well that can't spawn a mountain shrine, which I think is interesting. Oh, I, interesting. That's why, I actually didn't realize that. That's why host often says this feels like a stage three more than a stage two, because stage three is obviously, as everyone knows, don't spawn mountain shrines. Yeah, everyone so, knows that. Yeah, I love when <laughs> I say that and people are like, huh? No. Huh? They they spawn them, right? <laughs> Surely never. not. No, you've never seen one. <laughs> That's funny. That Rally Point Delta Mountain Shrine was in your dreams. It was actually. It's a funny like glass shattering realization though. <laughs> I remember the first time someone told me that I was like, no way. Surely not. I was on to stage two. Ups. I don't think he looted anymore. Mm -mm. He didn't surprised. get the med kit. He didn't. I mean, he might have gone into the the scam shrine and just got nothing out of it. I wasn't really paying attention though. There's a pennies on zinc though. Oh, that can be good. And a I quail mean, with, on cabbage. With how much we know, they all have to loot with this uh, build. I mean, pennies is just now more invaluable yeah, penny than up. ever. Yep. No wisp on this stage though, right? So it's going to be up to Templars to get some really good yeah, money gen without taking elites. a ton of damage. Yeah, fire elites as well. Just a fire rat, just follow it around, or a beetle. No, fire rats are scary. I'm not keeping that thing alive. <laughs> oh, you don't want to just follow it? Oh, it was an ATG on a zinc, Ooh, like nice. right in one of like the middle upper platforms. So, Kind of near cabbage then. Mm -hmm. There's also an equipment drone. I don't think we've seen another equipment yet, but could be beneficial. You got to use everything you can, especially for this run. Oh, so yeah. a cube drone, we've seen that be extremely beneficial for, I think it was Dan who got it, Ray Dan's. So it's a lot of different things you can do. It looks like Cabbage went and got a, himself an Opal out of the uh, the Opal printer right there next to the scrappers. So right. I like that. I think that's pretty nice. Get some Speed actual and try shop for Cabbage help. as well. Ooh, beautiful. And Zinc back to spawn. Yeah, they're they're not worried about hitting TP anytime soon. <laughs> like Zinc and Cabbage have been on this stage for at least two minutes, and they're just no. It's got to be more than two minutes at this point. They're, yeah. they're gonna get every single thing they can because nothing's really helping them out right now. Because just we see Zinc lagging a little bit. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna pausing for a second because I have to. Oh boy, help! Looks like you recovered for me. Okay, I'm so doing recovering. the adaptive chest right now. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Uh, there was a bleed. Watch, quail. Watch, recycler. Oh, and he missed the recycler and got the caffeinator instead. 
pain. So there's a recycler in that adaptive Sorry. chest that's right next to Zinc right now. All right. It's kind of I... deep, but... Oof. I'm back now. Man. We're all good. Thank you for casting. Oh, man. So... That could have been something huge for host. Let's see if Zinc can get it. It's like oh. maybe the 10th item. Let's see. Let's see. He's doing it. There's enemies around, too. He didn't oh, get He bleed. didn't even get deep enough. Oh, he was like a couple away, right? Yep. I think it might have been one or two after the watch. Dude. So maybe I, Cabbage, if he goes back to that adaptive chest, we'll see. I don't think he's going to let the adaptive chest go that far. I mean, I think there's so many yeah. good items before that point. Yeah, and actually, Cabbage has the quail. He might have got that from the adaptive chest already. Oh, yeah, maybe. Which, I mean, it's not a bad pick. There's a few good items. There's the watch, bleed. The quail is really good for mobility, especially when you don't really have any to start out with. And no slide, because you're, you're using roll. Mm. Daily the reminder from the teleporter that uh, if you use roll and you have sprint speed, you actually move slower by rolling than you do by running. Thumbs up. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's kind of like when you use uh, egg and you would just have more mobility outside of egg than actually using your egg because yeah. egg doesn't take your mobility items into consideration for zero reason. This ATG for Zinc is so strong, though, and he's the only one that has it still. Yeah, no one else found he's the, about uh, the chest gloop. up there. He is about to gloop. He needs to be careful. <laughs> he does have two watches, so he doesn't want to gloop. Obviously, I mean, if he went and leaned into it a bit, you know. Yeah. Just take those watches you to know? the scrapper, start fucking glooping. Like, or oh, he actually here. doesn't have his crowbars. Did he scrap his crowbars then? He might have. Probably. It's okay on the build. with a uh, phase round. It can be, but it's not something you really need with yeah. this build. For bar on commando, never really super desirable. Oh, and the cabbage, cabbage now finding ATG. that ATG. Beautiful. Yep. And host is actually on teleporter as well. This is good. He's making up some time. He did start his run once again, just a little bit later than the other two. So he's definitely playing a lot faster in this run than he was in the first two it seems like he's uh he's really letting go of a few items on each stage and just trying to get through it looks like here so yep gloop is self and... kit chat's right dude <laughs> cabbage getting scammed by that chance try near spawn and oh. uh opting to try to concede immediately <laughs> <laughs> oh man Zank actually going a little bit into the opals here, which is pretty nice. I think if you have five opals, by the way, you can fully host skip, no problem. You have to have a lot of healing, though. But obviously, no one's going to do that here. <laughs> yep. Just and a Cabbage fun hitting fact. the newt stage three. Nice. It's happening. It's time. Let's see what I mean, the new has for us. Yeah, he has enough greens where he's probably like, okay, listen, let's start trading up on some stuff here. I don't know. Yep. Sacrificing an ATG potentially, though, could be scary. I mean, if you get drone man or whatever, then hey. Yeah. And Zinc printing two opals before leaving onto stage three as well. Oh, yeah, we get to see what the charm is as well. Everyone opted to keep it, so. Nice. I know for the second stage, it was a uh, goat hoof, so. Host opting for the pennies over the syringe in the tri shop, just like Zinc did. Again, it's just it's so all about getting as many items as quick as possible with his build. <laughs> yeah. So interesting to see him sync up like that all the time. Cabbage going for the bleed, which... See, I would have gone for the bleed in the adaptive chest, actually, with this build. Because we have not really much else. Um, so I was surprised to see... Yeah, bleed Mander. A few of them pass it up. Honestly. The classic bleed and speed. Oof. There's nothing more classic than that, baby. Holy. Oh, yeah. There's a scrapper <laughs> on stage three. Nice. Nice. Right next to Zinc. They're really getting a lot of options for macro play here in this build, so... Yeah. Hopefully Unfortunately, they can get some things to use it. Nobody got the recycler on stage nope. two. 
which could have been very, very good for just swaying your run into something that the other it two just couldn't my heart. find. Yeah. Could have been crazy. <laughs> and they only have the FMP right now. Actually, uh, Host kept the Caffeinator, which I, I actually like. I like this. Because yeah. you're going to get a more well-rounded build with Caffeinator than you are with Forgive Me Please, because you just need less items. Yeah, we talked you find about just a couple of fireworks. One, but... yeah. Oh, yeah. And they already There's have also... the squids right now. I mean, yeah, you could use it a little bit. It's something already. It's not like... Zinc has wings. Okay, well... Yeah. I think you take <laughs> wings over the FMP or the Caffeinator at this point. Unless... There's, I don't know, how many fireworks would it take for you to take Caffeinator Two. over Wings in this scenario? Two, probably. You think so? I think it would be know. better right now if they're, like, even for this stage, I would keep using the Caffeinator if I could for the teleporter or something. Even if I had one firework, mm -hmm. or even, like, right now, even with a couple squids, just take out the boss yeah. a little bit easier. But to take it next stage, I think two. Not so. that it would be or great a guaranteed on pillar skip. It's just, man, this build is not there yet, you know? Grove Tender for the Stage 3 it's Teleporter. It's a lot to gamble. There's also a chance of safer spaces because they have a Void Seed, so they might not even need the wings, which could be pretty cool. And that's the thing for me with the host skip. I feel like there's so many more pillar skips Ooh. we can get now. Sink is scary. Yeah, a lot more options. Yeah, this, um, this Teleporter event. Grove Tender is when you're trying to go fast. Honestly, they're one of the scariest bosses to, to go up against. Yeah, be careful, Those dude. horde of wisps that get launched out of them. And a lot can of people be pretty they lethal. Go for like melee range against them and then they get chained and then they die instantly. Yeah. <laughs> so, or they get booped <laughs> up to funny. the top of the map, right? That's yeah, a just get fucking launched upwards and then you're like, oh well, hosting time. It looks like host went for the random option oh. instead of the yeah. wings, and he got a software, which can actually be really good for this teleporter here too. Yeah, definitely I saw over Caffeinator, which he does. Good. Yeah. This will help. Yeah, because look at Zinc now. Look how much he's struggling. Yep. He took up a good, like, minute getting outside of the teleporter, just trying to finish the... Oh, and there's a little Disciple. Ooh. Oh, boy. Okay. All right, Where's so there's the damage. I mean, and all the people... Dude, Host didn't get the ATG, so all the people who have the ATG oh, no. and crit um, with little Disciple, that's really good. Yeah, ATG and Disciple is so powerful. Now they're really looking for more of a proc chainy build, right? They're just kind of thinking, okay, where are my sticky bombs? Where are my ATGs? The poly loot stuff. I want some yeah. like big damage stuff going on here. More Cabbage crit. sticking with the FMP for the teleporter event, and he's also getting pushed out. I think Host will have the most successful teleporter event here. Oh, yeah. He, the if he does so tech right here, it'll be really good. He didn't do saw tech here, but he did do a lot of damage. Does he have gas? He does have gas. He so does. I hear my dog. He's whining in his sleep. Yeah, he's freaking me out. Dude. <laughs> he didn't pick up any bleeds, so he couldn't really extend the saw bleed anymore, which is kind of unfortunate. If host were to get a little bit of bleed, he can just upkeep all of the bleed ticks from saw, and it could be really nice. But yeah, it's kind of like a jump start with the saws, and then you just are able to keep that thirty stack going. Host still struggling just a little bit, but not as much as the other two, I think, with the mm -hmm. teleporter boss. Oh, definitely not. And he's happy now. Oh, yeah. Everyone's a little bit happier after this stage. I mean, the first two stages, yeah. obviously, were just like, oh, man, this is going to be a long run, but... Yeah, we're... this is something they can latch on to now. So looking at the Void Seed, I only really see a potential in here. Mm. I don't yeah, know. This is scaring me. Like, Zinc? There's an item locked in there, at least. Yeah. Maybe he's going to go for that more over anything else. Because there's only one more monster left by this point, so... Yeah. Oh, one Void Cradle. Nice. Okay, yeah. he did see it. Something. Earlier. That's fair. Let's hope Dis it's helpful. Disputed's right, though. Um, uh... With the host skip being a thing, um, Sawtech kind of is more back on the table with uh, Mithrix. Also, in the Shorm, there's a Feather. Yeah, that's so. extremely good. There's also a Lysate from the Void Cradle. and That's not going to happen. I think if they had a well-rounded proc build already, then they would take it, but I think just Sing's thinking about having it, a but... fuel cell is yeah. good. Yeah, it's tough. It's just... Lysate's just never the best on uh, Commando, unfortunately. 
Yeah. Like better with suppressive fire because I don't know. I think just spamming frag grenades isn't that great. So at least still oh. you'll get some proc out of spamming suppressive fire, but still it's it's just not worth it. And there's also a watch in the void potential. Oh my god, there's a there's a drink printer on cabbage. Yeah, he just there's lost a drink printer some, with the little disciple. Some crit with it too, unfortunately. Obviously he's That's fine, go in. all in. All in I mean you got the ATG, little disciple. Maybe you keep a watching crit. I mean, it would be nice to keep your crit though. It's just it sucks to lose it. Did no one else find this yet? I it's don't, right I feel on like that Zinc would have looked at it. There's a scrapper too, like right down below where Cabbage is. Why is he not? But scrapping? he's blind printing. He just didn't find it. He's cranning. Oh no, he, he could have so much damage. And Zinc <laughs> didn't find the drink printer. I don't think. I think he's gonna leave. Oh no. We'll see what oh, host boy. does. Maybe. Yeah, maybe I hope host, host finds the scrapper and the drink printer, and takes the wings at that point because it's just more mobility. I mean, there's the build though. I mean, at least they still have ATG. They can't lose that. But host is debating on the lysate. Don't Not do worth it. Worth it. Oh, thank God! He, he walked it. into thank it. God, and yeah. I was like, dude, it was scaring me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! So yeah, cabbage has eleven drinks, but lost most of his damage. He is going to get a watch back along with one crit, and he has an AP round, so it's okay. But Host also doesn't have the ATG from stage two. Dude. So, I mean, his at least disciple build. He can maybe keep the crit if he sees the scrapper. We'll see. Another void speed on it. stage four, by the way. Not too bad. It looks like there's some void enemies, like the a Reaver and something else. Because there are just like only three left already when you spawn in. <laughs> Cap or fucking host didn't even look to the right. He didn't find the drink printer. It's just in that little corner. You uh, suddenly look there, dude. That's Tough. so painful. The entire build is there, and Cabbage looks like he's the only one who got the best out of it, even though it could have been better. At least he got another sticky bomb too. So ATG with sticky uh, bomb and little disciple is pretty good. Yeah. Still would like a little bit more. It's painful. I really wish you found that scrapper, man. Yeah. And again, the only person who found the drink printer was Cabbage. Yeah. With the little disciple on the same stage. That's interesting. That's the dream. And there's a scorpion. Yeah. Oh. Whatever. And he kept the ATG. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Cabbage, it's time. Lots of feather. It's tough. I mean, the fact he kept the ATG is fucking nuts already, but <laughs> I don't know if I would have done it. It's so hard because, like, losing the ATG is such a multiplier with for 11 all the drinks. Disciples. But yeah, if, if he did lose the ATG, it would have been pretty rough. But even just without it, 11 drinks, Lil Disciple, Scorpion, that's insane. That's insane. I mean, his bill is insane, but. You know, he was fucking blind printing everything. It's crazy that he has yeah, what he, he has. God, I wish he found that scrapper. <laughs> he would have had, like, two more watches, more crit. He would have had a feather right now, and a scorpion, and an ATG. Yeah. But, Magmore as always, stage four, I mean, teleporter. at least he found the printers and cauldrons and whatever. No one else yeah. seemed to. Oh, boy. It pains me. It still pains me that he was the only one who found that speed printer. Maybe there'll be another one. Smile. Yeah. Surely. Like, there was, on. I think it was the tournament, there was, like, three hoof printers and a single seed yeah, on different were. stages. It was crazy, <laughs> dude. And you spawn That's right next to all of them every time. I was pretty sure. Yeah. Like, stage five, it was, like, a goat hoof we got them right all. there. Yeah. And a Murph. Holy shit from the teleporter. Man, this proc chain is Dude. stupid. One ignition tank. Yeah. Let's see it. That's all we need. But just proccing a Murph off of a little disciple is so much damage if the Murph actually hits yeah. anything. Holy. It's so good. And Host didn't take the wing, so he's actually rocking the wood spray now. Okay. He does have Warhorn so, with it, I guess, but... It's not bad, but... It's not Wings. Yeah. I would have rather he kept the Saw, honestly, than the, the Wood Sprite, I think. But. Yeah, probably. 
think just survivability at this point, he doesn't really need the saw damage because he does have a little disciple. He found a fuel cell. That's good. Oh, Zinc with the legendary chest. He's going oh. for it. Okay. Well. Yo! Let's fucking go, <laughs> baby! Woo! Hey, Jess! Let's go! At least sound more hype, all right? <laughs> Ages, let's go. You can't even fucking. <laughs> it's it it pained me too much. I... <laughs> no, there's a Jaro's ban on Zinc as well with the really little good. disciple ATG procs. Obviously, that would be very amazing. good ban procs. I mean, it's an actual ban proc for Mithrix as opposed to just yeah. uh, really lining up your phase round and trying to get a a pierce shot. Yeah. We see Cabbage Which doing the uh, amazing damage. The tech for Little Disciple just running against a wall <laughs> and doing giga damage. Yep. Especially with so much speed because it just just more. Yeah, all that speed is so crazy. Was there anything good from this void seed? It looks like just another void potential. I don't so think kind of so. I didn't see much. It'd be nice to see a plasma shrimp or poly loot on this build because oh, man, stop. That would have popped off. Oh, well, Zink is leaving to the next stage already. He actually went through the stage pretty quick, so. Yep. Let's see what we got. This Mithrix damage that Cabbage has, though, I'm scared about it. Oh, there's a Hoof Printer. Right on spawn Sky Meadow. Called it. A glorious day. <laughs> Casters Thanks are never Lord. wrong, dude. Oh, okay. Sometimes Less it's a curse. Today it's a blessing. Hey, how about... You look around for some fucking scrappers, my guy. You can keep all that crit. It's so good. Yeah, that's what I was saying. And the watches it, and the opals. He's too excited. I know he's excited. He needs to relax. He needs to calm down. <laughs> it's like a kid seeing like a candy bar just like on the side of the street. You just got to eat it. It doesn't even matter if it's fucking poison. It's just open or. <laughs> yeah, it's just laying on there right just on top of the no wrapper. wrapper at all. Just on the sidewalk. Yeah. <laughs> it's also you don't even know if it's a Hershey bar or not. It's just kind of like melted brown stuff so you, you, i don't know but it could be good you never know <laughs> yeah that's it <zinc>. anyways <laughs> it's looking he really good though he only lost one crit which is fortunate but um tough he doesn't have his shadows on um so you can't actually see where the sweet spots are to stand with the sun yeah properly that's funny shadows are pretty powerful for getting cues with like genesis loop the grandparents and even like now there's a there's a setup for a feather head stompers on rd host skip and you actually need shadows on in order to really see the the location that you need to start <laughs> holding spacebar down so shadows are pretty win. important yeah a better computer just have a better computer you... yeah <laughs> I don't even see a scrapper though yet, either way. So, you did get an extra and the whip. Shroom. Yep. Love it. Cabbage is on the teleporter as well. So, Host came into this stage, stage four, really quick. Uh, he actually beat Zinc in in game time to stage four. Um, but now he's looting up a little bit more. I don't know what took him a little bit long in the stage, but he seemed to have fallen a tiny bit behind on pace. So, hopefully, he catches back up. Yep. He will he get is that about burner. a minute behind on his stream, but and now host getting his Aegis, very powerful. Love Cabbage's screen. <laughs> He's just running into the, the wall. A ukulele, but no poly loot so far. Pain. I mean Uke with old disciples is really nice for the Mythic site too, though. So phase three specifically is really good. Post doing the the Aegis emote with his wood sprite. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Pretty dope. It just works. And he sees the hoof printer too. Thank the How Lord. How can you not? <laughs> Go into it. Well, at least everyone has speed. Yep. Now it's just like... Ocular HUD. Get to, as the, well. get to the fight in the moon. Let's go. Oh. Yep. But Host doesn't have a skip. Yeah, he doesn't have the wings. He opted to choose the question mark instead of just grabbing wings. Oh. Which, I, I yeah, I, I don't know right? what his thought process for that was, but I don't know. I wings... think he just was thinking, I need damage, and maybe I can get a skip later or something. I mean, yeah, I guess at, at that the point, time, he didn't have a disciple. 
Yeah, he didn't it's have the disciple, no speed. Hindsight, you know. It's like, yeah. Ray somehow activated my Siri. <laughs> hey Siri, hey, go Google. to riskofresources.com. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> Fucking plug in us like that. <laughs> Forcefully. <laughs> Maybe that chatter is like a similar voice to me and it just picked up well. <laughs> we have rats in the chat. True. And Cabbage is out. I'm surprised that Zink is still looting around right now. I guess he's Chat's just looking saying for band something. printer. Is there a band printer? I did not uh, see it, but honestly, I don't even know if it'd be worth it. Trusting chat room? Yeah, they they're uh, Okay, dumb. the thing is if Zinc does this and loses his ATG, uh, he has to rely on Murph to proc bands. Oh, he just picked up another ATG. Yeah, I, I wouldn't even worry about a band printer, honestly. Just low disciple ATG, you're popping off. He already has a band as well for the phase four skip. Cabbage starting the, the Mythrix fight, though. This is scary. Here we go. And uh, you'll just see the damage just get Rolling. better and better with the scorpion he took a big hit right off the bat though yeah he might lose his watches <laughs> it's, it's that feather that he lost that everyone else got to keep too right so he needs to be a little Here bit we go careful. wing time he also more speed needs out of the to, wings too um, to really heighten the little disciple he needs to be shooting him a little more yeah there he goes just with like his r even just to slap him a bit and sync is on the moon now as well He's moving. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Plus five. <laughs> for cabbage. Plus five on cabbage. That's oh, the thing. Oh no! You know, if you uh, if you're kind of oh, doing that no. sort of thing, <laughs> and you have to stay really close to Mythrix, it really, <laughs> really does help with a feather, and it really helps uh with slide and not roll either. So. Yeah. Oh boy. That's unfortunate. He was he was the prime contender for first place here, but now Zinc getting up to the Mythrix Arena has a lot of speed as well with the hoof printer on stage five. And he has a feather. Has the double ATG, little disciple, feather for survivability. Yeah, and the wings as well. This could be a comeback. And honestly, host isn't looking too bad to put in. Oh, he just needs the. It's the only thing is the pillar skip for have host, the skip, unfortunately. Dude. That's so rough. If he just took the wings instead. And I think he's he's hitting himself. He's uh he knows that it wasn't the right call to not take wings at this point. Because you know have your build on stage are, three. And he's freaking out. He has to go really far away. He is. <laughs> shadows are pay to win. Tough. It is true. Hopefully, um hopefully Cabbage can stay alive for phase three. Because it's it's not too unthinkable to think that can happen again. Because yeah. it's just, you know, when you're greeting that much damage, you just you got to go in, man. You got to yep. get some disciple damage. So, And all this mobility, and it's very variable because it is energy drinks. Mm -hmm. This could be kind of dangerous for pizza. It's either pizza. you're going extremely fast or extremely slow. <laughs> He's also uh, lost his watches, which isn't great either. Yep. So less damage going in now. He's going to have to really start shooting a bit more so he can get some more scorpion damage to kind of levy that uh that loss. Yeah, just like one suppressive fire burst here and there is really nice. Zinc doing giga damage with the double ATG procs off of the little disciple. Unfortunately, He's on phase not, two. not getting any uh, murf hits. It's so sad. Yeah, so I just wish and, the yeah. gravity on the moon was not lower because that it just makes Murph a little, little bit harder to hit, unfortunately. You just have to have a better build with it now. You have to have like Tensa Bobble or something to help out. Yeah. Or a full looty build. It's fine during Pizza, though, at to least. pop off. Ooh, Cabbage taking another swipe. Yeah, gotta be careful. Down to half health. One more swipe and he's out, chat. One more pizza or anything, really. So, but he also like can't run away too far from Mithras because again he wants to do damage. So, yeah, oh, I was looking dude. for equipments right now, hoping for something, but nothing, no mobility equipments. 
and no saber spaces for a host skip oh, oh, man. that's painful cabbage found his little rock spot oh oh <laughs> he's zooming <laughs> okay. he's zooming too fast <laughs> zinc now on to phase three as well painful And yeah, Host just kind of forced to look around because he knows the other two were able to take the wings and most likely did take the wings. So now he's like, okay, if I don't get this pillar skip, then this might take a while. But also, if he just left the stage and not get baited into trying to find the pillar skip, he would have been at the. He could have right potentially, now. yeah, he could have potentially been at the Mythrix fight just because all this movement speed, the damage, cabbage plus fiving. Yeah. Red rejuvenac on gamer host. He's just got to go, man. I know he wants to like, get the skip, yeah. but it's just getting bad. Yeah. He's got to move. He was forced into a position where... Rough. Yeah, he had to either just accept pillars or really try to look for that pillar skip, but it just didn't pay off. And Cabbage now done with phase three. Oh, yeah, the Reju Rack, Wood Sprite, Aegis combo. Gaming. Look at this. Look shame. at this chat. Oh, watch the Aegis pop off. I'm ready. Holy shit. Dude, do you see that? It goes up sometimes. You see all that barrier, dude? <laughs> oh, man. What a red item. Even with monsoon healing at this point with a Reju wreck. Oh, I think host is going to try and order. Oh. I mean, all right, let's see it. He can what get can he, he needs a feather ages. roll. That'd be insane. The feather roll for the, the pillar skip. Technically, that's pretty <laughs> brutal. The way you said that. <laughs> Technically. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, it would be slow still, unfortunately. Uh... Opals for the host skip. True. He could lose his little disciple, though. And just have to get oh nerf only. Yeah. That is true. No face for a skip for either zinc or cabbage. See, it's such a shame because cabbage just finished way in the lead, but it was just that death. Yeah, the plus five. Oh, Very he unfortunate. Get gloops. That's funny. Oh yeah, he has three boss items. I, I forget that they got three boss items this run. Forget how impactful the gloop was early on. Yeah. To our uh, our spirits. It was almost there. The double crowbar, dude. stage one, Genesis. It should have been, dude. Yeah. <laughs> uh. And Zinc finishing off his run. Okay. I need to see Host uh, do something here. He's looking at Soup, it looks like, to try and maybe get like a headset or something, maybe. I mean, that would do it, but... It's his best bet. Let's see. And because Cabbage plus 5, Host still has a shot here. Oh! Drone parts once again. I don't think that death counted for Cabbage, so... Nope, he's, he's good. Spent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> drone parts like in the, the cauldrons, right? but... It's just Host, again, enough. just no didn't drones. go into drones because... He didn't know he was going to get it. And still having to do pillars, probably. Spring in cabbage. Hello, cabbage. Hey. Fun run. Where'd I go? Hey. Got too greedy. Oh, oh plus damage. with a plus five. And I think that's Ugh. the uh, the nail in the coffin for Mr. Host, though, unfortunately. Yep. Do you want to pull him out now? Yeah, I will. Okay. Unfortunate. He took a, a massive hit from the perfected golem right there, chat room, if you didn't see it. We'll bring Tough. Zinc and Host in as well. Yep. We'll talk about the run. Go for it. I'll actually go into Host. Yeah, yeah. What's yeah, up, Zinc? Yeah. What's up? How was the run? It's pretty good. Uh, little Disciple helped a lot. I imagine good. so. <laughs> I was just playing as the little disciple. I forgot that I was commando. 
But uh, that was a pretty good run. I went really slow at the start because, you know, Commando. But then, once you got the little disciple, it was kind of much easier. Mm hmm. Oh, there we go. So, right. on stage three, Cabbage was the only one who found it, but there was a stage three speed printer actually with the little disciple. Ah. Yeah, nice. and cabbage. There was a scrapper just on the low, the level below that. I didn't care. I okay. mean, yeah, obviously you cared. Yeah. You cared. <laughs> no, I, I wasn't gonna scrap and then like such a time waste. True. I mean, it was just rough because <laughs> lost so much of the uh the proc chain ability on the uh the little disciple, and yeah, then but scrapping like ten items takes a minute. Yeah, I scrappers mean, are yeah. extremely scary. They're in my nightmares. Yeah. And losing the feather was kind of tough when you went into the scorpion a little bit. You did keep yeah. the ATG, which was a yeah. godsend, but that made the mythic fight a little scary, obviously. Uh oh, what other oh. than that though? The stage five hoof printer bailed the people out who didn't find the drink printer, which was good. Everyone got the build they kind of wanted a little bit, right? The little disciple, they got the speed, they got the little disciple. I don't know, yeah. host. Did you get the ATG on stage five? Because I know I didn't get one on stage two. I did not. I didn't get that one. Tough. Um, yeah. I think who was it that I was think the only one who got two ATGs for the little mm, cycle yep. anyway. Which good damage yeah. there with the band yeah. as well. There's a band printer, which I did not feel the need to go into. Yep, that's what we assumed. Like you already yeah. had your build. Didn't really need to risk any items for band, so that and point... losing the ATGs would have been awful for the uh, little disciple anyway, because then you'd have to yeah. rely on Murph to proc it anyway. The band then would be like, ah. it's tough. It's really tough. Cabbage got Scorpion out of the cauldrons on in the bazaar, I don't which think was, better was pretty better. juicy. I think Feather was better than Scorpion there. I wouldn't have died with Feather. That is potentially true, yeah. It's so what happened? I got whacked by Mythric stage one, phase one. Ah, phase one. Mm. Yeah, I I don't know. He just kind of went faster <laughs> than me with twelve energy drinks. Did you roll? I didn't look right when it happened. No, but... I just okay. I just I was just running away and he was faster. Yeah, yeah do not roll. <laughs> 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 no, like uh, you go into slow motion whenever you roll with those energy drinks. Yeah, no, it's good for canceling fall damage. That's it. Yeah. yeah. No, I should have just been less greedy. My fault. It's tough, though, because you, you kind of want to be greedy in the Mythics fight, but yeah. without a feather, it's just hard. Yeah, you need skill for that, though. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of skill, Captain time. So, I mm. love Captain. Hope you guys practiced your uh, speed shooting slash Diablo timings smile. I have not. All right. Either, but it'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> I had a lot of time to so practice. Reminder, it's though, 20 seconds. Be. Should be real nice and, and ready. Hell yeah. Well, I'm Let's ready. So if you guys are good to go, start up. All right. Good, good luck. luck. See you after the loadout. Smile. Yeah, but you uh, can. Okay, there you go. All right. Yeah. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> so this will be interesting. They do have a lot of survivability for teleporters again they have stun beacons they have heal beacons they have speed shooting potential diablo pillar skips diablo tech double diablos diablo phase skips i mean we're we're looking captain good. captain's a gamer dude i'm looking at zinc screen and i feel like i looked at the sun too long <laughs> and i just <laughs> he's so bright <laughs> I think he actually won the tournament with this skin, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Oh boy. There's a speed printer, stage one. Beautiful. And they need this because they're captain. And they captain, captain is slow. <laughs> so that's a actually, blessing. Actually, I like uh, Cabbage's captain with the red on the side. Little bloody that's, captain. That's pretty good. The way the, uh, the reds kind of are different shaded there a little bit. Yeah, he's fucking Rick Raining right now. <laughs> <laughs> he actually is, yeah. <laughs> so 
This will be interesting. I oh, host is hitting TP instantly. He's he's in. Dude. Okay. Boom. Speed shooting as well. He didn't really need Diablo. Yeah. You can just speed shoot up. He should yeah, sit the thing down with his speed uh, shooting. Oh, that gold shock hurt. beacon, so he can absorb kind of the the beetles here and stuff. Yep, shuriken out of the TP. Oh, that's so this good. is looking like a good stage. They can get speed shuriken. That's all we know so far, but I mean, hey, and we see Zink actually using his healing beacon on the blood shrine, so he can just get a really bunch good. of money right off the bat. This it's is the kind of uh, kind of things you need to keep in mind, right? Just use whatever you have, and he's using whatever he yeah. has. Most people wouldn't even really think twice about the healing beacon here, but he's uh, he's using it to go fast. So look at him go. Yeah. Active healing when you're trying to go fast in any sort of gauntlet run is very very big. Yeah, for those of you who don't know about the uh, the speed shooting, you can cancel the. Uh, a reload animation with the shotgun by pulling up the beacon menu and you can cancel out of the beacon menu by sprinting so it's like a double cancel animation there and you can just yep. go really really fast holy <laughs> look holy at the screen <laughs> there it is it's time there it is oh my baby. god that was beautiful <laughs> <laughs> never seen anything like that before <laughs> that was gorgeous uh, hopefully um hopefully host can get some white items going because getting that speed going stage one would be very helpful to survivability another risk of resources from Ooh. host as well dude we're getting all the bangers today he's popping host. off yeah they're all coming up <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Gabby's now with four drinks and he's probably gonna hit the tp now so Zink actually went to the far side of the map and got pennies before the teleporter. Um, and he was only really able to get some of the extra loot over there because he did the blood shrine uh, so quickly anyway. So he's just going to... Host is leaving. Everything. There he goes. He's got his okay. key. He... He's got shuriken. He's ready to go, dude. He's ready to game. Yep. The speed shooting from uh... Cabbage is sublime. He accidentally pulled open and... the uh, yeah. console. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The key box drops an infusion for the gaming host, which is massive. It is massive. It's yeah, the best it's item huge. he could have gotten. It's um, it's disappointing. Obviously, I mean, you know, obviously when you get the key, you're rolling for something uh, good, good, usable, <laughs> impactful in any sort of way. Yep. Yeah. Is that a <laughs> syringe printer as well? Ooh, he's got some AOE uh, though too. I on, tell. on host here, so. Yeah, the Willowist is really nice. Especially for when you all bring them together into a Shark Beacon and then you just will wisp them. Oh, yeah. Looks like Host is just like, where's the TP? I'm going <laughs> to. Yeah, I think he's going to push this seed and hope it really just hands him a good run. He's going to get another I mean, key here, too. Hey. Nice. Yeah. If you can just go out and fucking ball, get yeah, first place it. on the last loadout. I do I'm that down. sometimes. Like whenever I know, like, okay, it's over, might as well try to put on a show and get this amazing run. So really get just the push the limits. Even if like you don't win the day, dude, winning a loadout feels good, right? Like it it's all like segmented yep. in a way where each is a little race in itself. So Yep. Exactly. You just can't let the air leave the balloon. <laughs> Looks like Host doesn't really see much else near teleport. He's just going to go right for it. Boom. He's got Diablo. He'll instantly kill the boss. Actually, he uses Diablo. Over oh, oh, oh. That was actually it's a perfect. beautiful. Oh, it missed. No. Dude, it was just too was high. Such a good placement. Diablo. Yeah. Come that's on. sad. That's actually a good placement. <laughs> the predict Ooh. on that would have been so nice. And he is speed shooting pretty well here, so if you can finish it off. He there does he a really stealth kit. Nice. He's really getting rewarded for going fast. So Zinc found a watch <laughs> that he picked up. Uh-huh. I I mean it's hard to go super macro, but it would have been nice to see. 
Zinc can get some speed before picking up the good white items. I think he might just it's tough gamble the good so white items away. for speed. Yeah, Cabbage I'm, on the stage two now. I'm with you though. I mean, like the the correct call on a normal regular run would be to wait for the watch, but yep. And yeah. maybe still the correct call in this run, but it's it's just so hard to tell. You never know when the when it's the right play to spend more time to mm -hmm. macro. That's why vase can be really good. And even in a stage and not just for pillar skipping or something like that, because you can macro a little bit more. Um, yeah, you can just go across the stage. Back and forth. Yeah, just not really worry about it. Oh, Zinx, uh, he's like my ears. So many enemies are in his shock beacon. I want to see if I can hear it. <laughs> It'll get louder as you get closer and closer. Oh, I hear it. It's all in the right ear, too. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they made it go only in the right ear and make it so loud, but it's crazy. I think it's hilarious how loud it is, to be honest. <laughs> it's like uh, plasma shrimp levels are loud sometimes, dude. Yeah. So Zing, Cabbage on the stage 2 teleporter. I really want to point this out, though. Zing is actually timing the teleporter and the uh, shock beacon to actually get money into stage 2 for himself. He missed, and he messed it, up though. the timing. Yeah. Yep. Oh, well. <laughs> I think it's well, like... 26 seconds left on the cooldown that's when you you hit the teleporter like leave 26 and a half ish yeah something yeah, like that it's really close but um yeah you can it's basically like picking up a gore's tome drop or like hitting a blood shrine right before you leave except you know you do it with all the enemies of the stage <laughs> holy shit <laughs> we're really risk of resourcing right now how oh, i love the gaming host did Zink got blasted back? Dude, if that was near an edge, he would have died instantly. <laughs> oh my god. He got thrown. Caffeinator on host. Nothing he lost seems to be extremely too. powerful. Uh, Zink still has oh, his fireworks. He did. And um, he could I don't, get that. He didn't get it in the first place. What? Host. He didn't get any fireworks. He got one. He, he just gave it up for a key oh, did or he? something. Yeah. Double bleed on host, though. And that's pretty good. I mean, we're moving. Nice and juicy. Especially with the speed shooting. Is he going to leave right now? I think he is. I think yeah, he's, he's out. right for it. He's out of money. It's time to go. All right. Let's see what stage First uh, to stage three. three. Like. Sulfur pools. At least he has Willow Spear. That'll help out a lot, actually. Potential equipment variety. Maybe you can get a build going. He's really <laughs> risk of resourcing. This one is actually a stage you got to be a little bit careful in when you speed shoot because those mountains in the background you can actually place your uh, beacon on. So again, yeah. you need your beacon for it, um, or at least one of them. So make sure you don't aim at something where you could place down uh, your beacons. Zinc's build is looking really good. Double firework. He might find the caffeinator, and he does have the speed. So hopefully he just finds that caffeinator and his build could be popping off a little bit. Cabbage also finding the double bleed. And there's a Reynolds band printer that all Cabbage right. just found. <laughs> well, they all have regen scrap too. Oh, no, host doesn't. Never mind. Tough. I mean, that's a free band for them. I don't think they'd want to get rid of the shurikens, but like they might risk it anyway. Yeah. Cabbage is risking it. He says screw it. Probably keep it, but yeah, it's I guess it's just a blind print. Maybe try to find a scrapper first. I think this could be a scenario where that is the better call to find a scrapper first, or if you can, anyways. Because he just lost his because... uh, his normal combat uh, band proc. Oh, 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 shit. Yeah, you saw Cabbage? Cabbage almost hosted, <laughs> man. Holy. That was so scary. Z construct <laughs> Dude, for the teleporter boss. Fucks you up, man. It sucks. <laughs> Whew. Oh, this is looking dicey for host here. He's gonna use the caffeinator just to heal up a little bit, but these enemies are tough. Yeah, he's getting really he's got a blasted. pest horde above him with a Z construct. Thank God with the Templar this, that uh, spawned. This caffeinator, though. Oh man, yeah, he's just gotta leave. Unfortunately. Oof. Oh, and the Z construct. Oh, okay, risk of resources. Yep. Uh -huh. <laughs> What is this band printer in the... It's a stun printer. Okay. So Host is... He's kind of going into cope right now, unfortunately, where he's just gonna... 
use his Diablo on the roof above him and try to have it so every enemy paths to that spot while he stays in the cave. Um, I don't know if this yep. is looking too good here for the gaming host. This is a tough spot to be in. You really need to take a proactive position and really just speed shoot the construct down. Like otherwise, it's just gonna take control of the whole run. Yeah, there was just way too many pets for him to be able to do that. There was, I think, like four or five that spawned and a mending one as well. So he, pretty... he really wasn't able to just stay in there. Cap, what happened? Oh no! He Cap what did himself, he do? Diablo did himself. He, he walked no right to way. the <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh no! That's a, that's the risk of resources first, I think. Oh, oh man! No, no, no! He did it. <laughs> he actually did it. <laughs> mm. He walked right in, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, and he's cabbaging oh, with the the pods he as well. He is cabbaging. <laughs> he's, he's just has... hyper. Uh, <laughs> Die to anything but actual enemies. <laughs> <laughs> the cabbage special. <laughs> just kill yourself. Why let the enemies do it? And yeah, take control. <laughs> yeah. He's got a uh, Chrono Bobble for all that effort, dude. That was. Damn it. It yeah. was getting like low on the timing there for Diablo, and I was sitting there like, um, and he walked into it, and I was like, um. <laughs> I need to watch that back because I wasn't watching, but. Yeah, just scroll back uh, on the YouTube painful. slider. I'll tell you if you oh, missed true. anything. Yeah. Oh, the one dude. good thing about YouTube streams. The one good thing. That was crazy. <laughs> oh, dude. That is not good. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. So yeah, Zink is looking like a gamer right now. He's got the Capinator build. He's got his healing beacon in the teleporter. He's going to keep spamming that Capinator until everything's dead. Yep, he's got uh, the double firework. That's all you need, baby. Boom. And Ho's still struggling on the construct. He got him pretty low now. I think the wrong but... call was to immediately go to the cave. I think if he went to the cave, he should have gone out the other side, at least just tried to do damage from mm. a, from a distance yep. at the Z construct. Um, There's a plus five from host. Unfortunate. And Cabbage on stage four. They I... can get an easy Ewu kill with the Diablo in four Ooh, bands. True. Also, another thing. Host put his shock beacon underground, but no enemies really go there. He should have put it above ground, absorbed all the enemies on the stage if he was going to try to do cope stuff, and then he could have really focused on the construct alone even at that point. But mm -hmm. it's just um, it's just hard with with what happened. Yeah, and he didn't have any speed items the the other two did have, so even if the other two were to be in the same situation, they could have got out of it substantially easier. Yeah is unfortunate another runot's ban on cabbage that's and an ap round com moment hell yeah <laughs> i hope they know the timing for diablo strike on ally warship unit i know zinc does because he does a lot of prismatic trials and that's a big strat for prismatics zinc just hit don't the know the other two. with diablo in the air that was pretty good he got the shot off lucky bastard And Cabbage's yeah. teleporter boss is dead. I think that a uh, Cabbage might know it, but I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know how much like he, he does, does prismatics, but he doesn't do Captain <laughs> ever. That's the thing. Yeah, we'll see if any of them actually know the timing. It will be. Is it twenty four seconds on the cooldown when you hit the last egg? I think so. Maybe twenty six. It might be the same as teleporters, actually. For getting Might the money. Be, I think 26, probably. Either 26 is like a 25. Play. I yeah. feel like I've done it at 25 and it's worked, but. Mm -hmm. I think a late 25. Yeah. And with these Reynolds bands, they should have a full kill, but 
probably still wait till after the teleporter, just in case you're not able to get the full kill. Oh, absolutely. I still see that question a lot. Like when players go to the TP, they finish the TP, and some people in chat are like, "Why have they not done AWU yet?" It's like, well, you can you can just do it when there's no other enemies around. Like you can, yeah. Don't risk your <laughs> your life. So you it would instantly. A bit free. There's a clover on the gaming host. The only one who found it. And it's right next to the teleporter too. It was a large chest just down below where he is right now, under that bridge. <laughs> Very interesting, and the other guys could have really used that too, because they they all have a little bit of bleed going on in their. Oh, kids, host! So. Oh, yep. Host. Jeez. <laughs> he does still have the band printer as well. <laughs> that I would assume he's going to go into. I assume. I don't think there's a scrap on this map either, unfortunately. Oh wow! Cabbage is on to Sky Meadow already. What happened? He knows he has the plus five. What happened? He's just going. I literally. <laughs> looked away for a second and i did not even see any of his stage four like i saw him yeah. get there i looked back and he stayed five he went underground speed shot the vagrant teleporter and left and he's getting <laughs> blasted by a construct right now he's even he knows he has to make beacon. up five minutes so i mean and he he's... also needs does he need bonus points in order to win this it's six to three zinc to cabbage right now he would need to get um, bonus points and then have Zink at zero, right? Yeah, I think so. He needs so, I mean, host Cabbage to pull is doing up. what he needs to do. Yeah. Yeah. He's trying his best, but oh, Cabbage is extremely low. Using that healing beacon, actually. World Spawn Z Construct. Love to see it. You can technically speed shoot with your second beacon, but you have to add in another uh, button press with your second... Uh, ability so it's a little bit more awkward it's a little bit harder to yep. do to be honest but you gotta add the possible. m2 to the m1 yep uh, i don't think host is actually gonna go into the band printer uh, maybe he just didn't see it because i know he went directly left on spawn yeah. so he might not have seen that band printer unfortunately i know cabbage got here quick but he is like stuck here right now and yeah. fortunately, he does get this feather that was really close to spawn. That's going to help him out a ton, but apparently Host did print one. Okay. Which is nice. Good. Nice. Good. I actually, that's fair because like he really doesn't want to lose his shuriken. That's the biggest thing he's wanting to keep. Yeah. He wanted a band proc with the shuriken and losing it would just be pretty painful for yeah. him right now. So. And will o getting through Siren's Call to be extremely oh, yeah. beneficial. Thank you, chat. It's a good call. Not being too greedy. Another band for Zinc right in the middle of Siren's Call there. He didn't want to lose the feather. Oh, he had a feather by that point. Okay. Oh, he does. Nice. I didn't even notice he had one. <laughs> well, good. Good, good. Zinc going for the double uh, Diablo kill, hopefully, in Siren's Call basement. Just as long as he doesn't down here. murder himself with Diablo, should be good. That's ridiculous. Someone would do that. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you should get uh, it. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, you got it. Nice. Very well good. done. I want to see someone do Awu, but I just don't know if if they're gonna spend the time to do it. It takes so long with when you have to rely on Diablo for it. If any of them kept their shuriken, I mean, Zinc does have a shuriken, so he could uh, potentially do it. But also, like, he's down here in the cave, so he can't really break eggs at the same time as doing teleporter. Yeah. So he has to spend all the time and finding them and all that. So, yep. It's tough. Not a good scouting position for the teleporter. And the lack of speed is really biting hosts in the back right now, like this late in. All the others can move around pretty freely, but. He just has mm -hmm. the feather. At least he got that feather. Yeah. At least he does. Without that feather? Oh my god, Zinc just took a larva to the, the feet. Goomba stomped it. This is <laughs> This is getting a little scary, but I think he's good now. He's gotta watch out. Zinc already broke a bunch of eggs. Okay, well hopefully he does go for it then. Oh, Zinc is lagging a bit. Yeah, it makes everyone lag for me when that's happening. <laughs> Covered on my screen. Oh, dude. All right. Still no good back. equipments. 
Uh, I think Cabbage has a prion. Zinc should be back. Okay. Cabbage has a prion now instead of the caffeinator because he didn't have the fireworks that Zinc does. There we go. Sorry, but with Diablo, it's kind of redundant having a prion. Technical difficulty. And host is pretty low on health. Again, this mobility or the lack thereof. Ah, uh, yeah, there's a plus five. This is not having that speed from the stage one printer. Or even there was a stage two hoof printer as well that Zinc went into just a little bit more. But there unfortunately is. didn't get any of it. I'm going to refresh them a little bit there. Maybe catch up. A there we go. All right. Oh, and host again. I think that's going to be another. Oh, it's so nice. close to a plus he's five. There. He's chilling. I mean... If this worm doesn't leave him alone, then we're going to see another one, but... Yeah. Worms with low mobility is He's kind trying of to scary get a, sometimes. any amount of bungus he can just to help heal. Is Cabbage going to die of all damage it? right now? No, oh, he's, he's, he's got a feather. Chilling. Oh my god. Zink Good job, Zink. Good timing went for on that. It. He almost killed him fully. It's really close. He can finish this off really quick here. Yep. And Microbots will delete the area of effect yeah, he's attack fine. from Ewu, so... No real danger. Let's see what Zing gets from. As long as a stray doesn't come. Ewu. A nice oh, juicy host. rejuve wreck. Perhaps. Potentially. Maybe an Aegis. I don't know. Zink doesn't have a feather yet. He'll get one next age. It's right off spawn. He'll be good. What is it? I don't okay. know. Okay. A behemoth. The brilliant behemoth. The broth. Broth up. That's good. Down. More damage. More one shot Mithrix potential. I mean, yeah, put a Diablo with Behemoth on uh on Mithrix when he spawns in. That's uh that's juicy. Yep. Five Runold's bands as well. Mm. Big damage. Cabbage is kind of coping this teleporter. The Solus is only fifty percent HP. Dude, this whole stage. He's going been actually full cope. Kind of copish for cabbage. It's been really rough. Yeah. He doesn't really Just have no real much damage other than Vans. Diablo. Because yeah. he lost his shurikens for the Vans and he can't like yep. really use them. So And that's why host play of not going all into the band printer is the right call. Because it's gonna be substantially easier for host to deal damage than it is for cabbage in this instance. But that being said, if cabbage gets through this fight and goes to Mythrix, he'll have a way easier time. But at yep. that point, it's just about like, you know, what you gotta you can get do. to the moon. Yeah. And they might have first. to do pillars as well. Even though Host has two deaths right now, I mean, Cabbage with one death and struggling this much and still pillar potential for everyone, this could be anyone's game. I think we're, we're going to see a Diablo skip. And I'm hyped. It's Maybe. Diablo time. No, it's time. I was telling Host earlier today that he should probably practice Diablo skips. I don't know if he did, but it definitely would be helpful if they were to practice because oh, it's not did. something that you just remember how to do. Sometimes you got to like refresh and understand when to jump and where to do it. Oh, and that's another host plus five. Yeah, that larva cave he's in right now is not great with no speed. He did get the whip, but it's just if he wants to do damage. I mean, I think yeah, you just got to go all into Diablo right now and just not use a shotgun for a little bit because. Yeah, just for the survivability. It's tough. It's really tough. Zing is having the same problem with the construct off spawn. Yeah. Dude, I mean, I know that they're having problems now, but when Host gets to stage five and has to fight that thing, he already had a lot of problems with it the first time on stage three. Like, this is something I've seen before. Zinc is not that good at speed shooting. So he opted hmm. to not speed shoot the Z construct. Which would have made that fight a lot easier with the behemoth, the double bleed, shuriken. He's to practice that tech. Yeah. Well, but yeah, Cabbage still not Dude, even 40% on the coping. teleporter. Dude, holy shit, This is man. bad, and he, I think he will take a plus 5 here. This is this is too much. No one has any healing at all, pretty much, so... Just the beacon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, just the beacon. Oh, I'm... I'm in the caffeinator. Lagging a bit. Yeah, Zink is lagging stream. once again. Tough. Okay, I'm back now. 
he should be back. It's just like stutters here and there, which yeah, the stutters screw just everything up. Me, so yeah, <laughs> host with a host. bunch of larvae around him. Oh Jesus, dude, that self kit actually saved. Yeah. <laughs> I guess they don't really have that much AoE either. Like, Host has one Will O Wisp. The other two didn't. And now Zinc just found his gas. So, Cabbage hopefully that'll help out a bit. Plus five. He got his healing oh, beacon man. back at yep. least near teleporter after the death. But, uh. yeah, that's that's brutal. I, I saw that coming. It was just, it was way too much and such low health to begin with. Unfortunately, he still doesn't have any beacons because he just used them. Um, and we see Zinc trying to shooting. get through the teleporter now. This is tough, man. I hope no Let's one see if Zinc gives can up land here, this. Though, because this is, this is potential for anyone to come back here. Is that Ember the Course? I think it is. That's really good. Can really take a lot of pressure off these guys for Mythrix, and even now. Yeah, Cabbage will probably swoop that up as quick as possible, but the Gup is trapped inside the teleporter, so he can't actually he can stun go and get it without oh, getting hit. Oh, Zinc died! Oh, oh no. Oh, Zinc! Plus five. Oh, no. <laughs> this is such a brutal run for everyone. This is why you can't, you can't quit. You can you never, never know quit. how much the others are struggling, and in this case, every single racer is struggling at this point. It's not yeah. an easy one. And we see Host setting up for the Allo Worship unit. That's a little bit hit, low, right? But why? Okay, that was just okay. Good. I think it should be doing should a little bit higher. Good. I think it's I mean, enough radius hit it, to still hit it. Hopefully, I don't do know enough. if it'll. Yeah, I don't think I'll do the full Does potential he know where the damage. Last that is? no, he's too late now. He's way oh. too late. Yeah, it's too late. Yep. Unfortunate, and he'll he both. he'll just leave the stage. Oh, Try Cabbage another plus five. Oh, Cabbage dude. three plus fives. Now caught up to plus fives with Host. But he's still struggling almost plus five again. Dude. Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> he's so close to dying. Oh, look at Host. He got the worship unit stuck on the little, yeah, yeah. The little icicles there. Whatever it's the fuck time, they are. <laughs> He'll get the hit. He'll the get the hit. Might, dude. We're good. For the behemoth drop. All right. Oh, I moved out of it. Uh, he's trying to. Mm, he's yeah, back. He's back. Nice. That's a hit. I mean, oh, actually, not a lot of damage from Cabbage's angle. He's like obviously really struggling. From Host's angle, he's like, dude, no one's gonna be worse than I am right now, right? He tried to concede multiple times yep. already, but look at Cabbage. I mean, he's he's full cope here. He can't even like get through the TP because it's just so difficult. Um, yep. And we don't know what Host's stage five is gonna look like, but. Never give up, chat. I have a bad feeling it's going to be more struggle. It's, everyone's struggling with Zinc. He's he's such I mean, low yeah. health. He might take another plus five, even though it looked like his build was probably one of the best. Where's it's that heal still just, <laughs> Yeah, it's just so much to deal with. And they didn't really get the AoE. Like oh. one ukulele or something could have been so nice. Cabbage almost said it again. Jesus, that was scary. Host with the worship unit kill. Now we're going to pick up his behemoth. Host really does have a clover. He does. I forgot about that. This this potential. could be. This could be a another really plus good five for cabbage. Oh my host god! Is I mean. Let's go, host. Let's go. Come on, man. Come on. Risk of resources dot com. <laughs> Let's do it. There's probably someone out there who thinks we're just covering host screen on purpose or something. <laughs> <laughs> Zinc plus five. Oh, he does. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, now he's trying to speed shoot. He's not the best, but he's getting it done. He's oh, and another plus five. That's Dude. a hosting plus five from Zinc. Zinc up to three Bro. deaths now. Host three deaths. It Cabbage happens so almost fast. Almost five deaths. Oh my. Oh, another plus five by Zinc. <laughs> oh, oh man. what is happening? Dude. Host, you got this. Stay mentally strong. You got this. Focus up. You could get first in this loadout. Oh. Which is geez. insane, but. Cabbage with four plus fives running towards his Diablo strike up the. <laughs> no, he's good. <laughs> Everyone's gonna do pillars as well. Zinc stream lagging again. It's fine for me now. Oh. 
this is a crazy run and such a mentally taxing run for all the racers. Aaron. I've been in this situation with Diablo Captain. It is painful, but it hurts, man. Ugh. You know, host is looking at that construct right now and he's thinking, well, maybe I could use the grandparent. Oh, grandparent said. All right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> never mind. Which it, it would have been nice. Maybe been place nice. the Diablo just far enough where it's not the full potential damage yeah, and then it could have potentially survived. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, this Z construct really made all of them start struggling right away on Sky Meadow. So hopefully he can maybe get a good Diablo strike down, but it's so hard to land a Diablo strike on those damn constructs. There is a type potential, actually. Don't even Regal, get out of here. Stop it. <laughs> like, don't <laughs> don't jinx us I with a tie break. Hell no. Give me a tie. The host lost his elixir, didn't die, but try to speed shoot this construct. Down. The construct's actually pretty low on host. He he did a pretty good job of starting off the fight pretty strong, and he killed it right away. Actually, not too much of a struggle. Kind good of a job, lot of curse, host. but better than just what the gets other two did. Through this fight, like the teleporter fight here just okay dude he has such an advantage yeah. here like just mentally right if he can like bring it back a little bit yeah if he can just go unscathed for this stage he'll, he'll be a lot stronger mentally than the other two the other two got bullied on the sky meadow and cabbage taking some curse trying to get through uh -oh. this this is where you really should just stay back. This is where Cabbage, I think this is where his fault is. He he's a speedrunner and he likes to go fast, but you really have to take your time, especially on this run with this much cope. I think he's actually gonna host plus five here. Oh my god, that's so close. He you really should. Oh, that's a plus five from host. Ah. So much going on. Cabbage really should just he should have dealt with the enemies before going down the tunnel. Because if down he the, did that, bridge. he would have been able to Diablo skip pillars, um, but now he can't. It will kill him, unfortunately. So, <laughs> Host just blasted his screen shake full, full blast. <laughs> so we're going to see some, some crazy gameplay. <laughs> he saw the... It's because the elders killed him. And elders, when they spawn in, they shake your screen. Yeah. So now he's like, fuck this. We're going 100% screw. Okay. Plus <laughs> five for cabbage, actually. Again, man, that's five plus fives. I mean, yeah. And that's another thing. Like, a lot of people don't realize they're like, always like, hey, elders always snuck up on me and I couldn't do anything about it. I had no idea. But it's like, you have screen shake at 0%. So <laughs> if yeah. you have it like at, like at point one or like something like 10% or something, just enough, uh, you can really tell when they spawn around you. Yeah. It helps a ton. Host trying to just predict where the spawn is going to be for the boss. Uh, oh, he actually hit the solace. Nice. Only one solace less for host during it, the teleport. Like, went right Cabbage plus five. Too. Dude, another one. Oh, oh boy. And Cabbage is actually going to go for the Diablo skip. He's trying to heal yep. up, trying to get his one shot protection up, but. He just can't get hit here. He's Duh. using Freon to even get these things away from him. He's just like, dude, leave me alone. Oh, He's not going to heal in time. He could, he could, he could. Hold up. Oh, cabbage. Up. Oh, cabbage. Cabbage. No! Who's <laughs> <laughs> uh, plus five? Oh, dude. It's a bloodbath. Oh, my God. We haven't seen this many plus fives in such a long time, dude. Oh, here Host we go. Here is we go. Done cabbage with the is going up. Though. Cabbage is up. Nice. Okay, he he did it. He only Seven plus fives in. 35 minutes added to his clock, but he's ready to go. Fuck. <laughs> Zinc now onto the moon. Four plus fives. I think we had Host. a Denshi run last week. Salty, actually. Yeah, I Host mean... done with the teleporter event, basically. Just has to charge it up, and I don't think should struggle that much, but it's we'll still see. a lot of enemies to deal with. Cabbage is I doing want... his Diablo tech for Mithrix, so this should be a quick phase nice. one. He does have a lot of bands. Should be a one shot. I see it. Oh, 
Yeah, I think he actually placed Diablo too far away from the center. Yeah, yeah. So he didn't get the full potential. Place it a little bit higher on the spawn orb so it hits his head a little bit. Yeah. I always just do it right at the very top of the spawn orb. Yeah. It still hits Mithrix. And he's going to rely solely on now. Diablo. Yep, I mean, you have this to. Phase. Or Prion, too, actually. Let the cores yep. take aggro. Yep. At least he knows the uh, the timing for Diablo here in phase one. So yep. next time the Mythic jumps to the middle, he should land directly in it. Which is really good. Do your homework, chat room. Very important. Oh, he did it and a little bit. all the stuff needed. Ah, uh, he did it do it right, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, just a little off. Needs more homework. He did it. All the information you need. Landing risk of resources. Oh, there's a Stompers. Zinc has Stompers in the cauldrons. Holy shit. That is go. a zero death pillar skip for Zinc. <laughs> 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 and something that Cabbage probably should have looked at. Classic Zinc getting the stompers. Who is this guy? And does he have quail? He doesn't have quail though, but if you have read the wiki, you can use Diablo <laughs> Strike paired with Stompers. <laughs> <laughs> it's time. Does anyone have that wiki quote, dude? Holy. <laughs> yeah, it says on the wiki, actually, that you can Cabbage actually plus five. elevate yourself with Diablo, go to the top of the map, and then on your way down, stop enemies. So it's pretty good strategy. <laughs> Thank you, wiki. Very cool. Zinc with a better timing and placement, getting more damage off with the bins. Really good. Oh, God. <laughs> I hope Host finds the Stompers, because if he finds the Stompers... That's big. I think he's, he can really take second place here. Cabbage with eight plus fives, only on phase two. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I knew exactly to launch the himself fuck high into the air. Yes. <laughs> Much value. Thank you, w wiki editors, for All your, your contribution to the Risk of Rain community. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Who gives them the fucking ability to do this? <laughs> I mean, this brought me joy, so I don't. <laughs> yeah. It's very comical for sure. <laughs> Zinc already on really... the base, too. Best they could really do right now is just jump off the ramps, unfortunately. They can kind of, well, Zinc can kind of almost trimp off the ramps. He can get a tiny bit of height uh, just by running. Yeah. It's not like huge, but it's a little bit extra. It was big. actually a really cool interaction. I was doing prismatics with the chaos artifact, and the knockback from landing a caffeinator actually launches you in the air. Yeah, yeah. Which is, is pretty cool, but obviously you can't use it here. But... Yeah, very Some cool little side tech. Yeah. For, <laughs> for the chaos races that we eventually do. True. We do need to avoid a, any sort of AOE. artifact or <laughs> co op run up soon, though. Near pod racing. Maybe get a themed race in here. Yeah. I mean, today's theme was uh, Fan Sanctuary. Yeah. Very cool. It was the most hyped theme we've probably ever seen. Zank is in danger <laughs> right now, I think, a little bit. He was getting blasted by the wisp. Yeah. Does he have his healing beacon up? He's going to try to get the timing down for the start of phase three. Cabbage just finishing phase three. Moving on to phase four. He just missed the phase four skip, unfortunately, right there. Zinc is actually going to get... Oh, I think it's just a little slow. Let's see if he gets the timing. It should be good. Good timing, Zinc. Nice. Good, yeah. good start to phase three. Already oh. almost done with the phase. My man. Do Let's see homework. if Host finds the Stompers, because if he does, again, he could get second place, because Cabbage with so many plus fives. Oh, absolutely. Almost getting another on this phase. Oh, man. Cabbage did it too. Well, good for Cabbage. He did his homework. I wasn't looking. Nice. <laughs> Zinc on to phase four now. Cabbage still in phase four. He's still fighting for his life in here, dude. Yeah, those he's cores. cores. I know he has to so really scary. circle. If he gets hit yeah, by those cores, he got his speed he's back. Done. 
And Zinc just using fireworks and caffeinator since it was... Oh, Zinc plus five during phase four. The empathy course. Uh, he wasn't circling enough at the end there. He really yeah. had to tighten it up. Ah. That's five plus fives for Zinc. Tied up with the amount of plus fives that Host has. See, even if... Like, Host seemed like he was extremely far behind, but same amount of plus fives. Obviously, Host hasn't started the Mythrix fight yet, but there's definitely still potential for Host could getting be second. Yeah. There's still like 15 minutes in between him and Cabbage's time right now. Host With finding the Stompers yeah. will be so beneficial. That's a that's a grubbing plus five for Cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, 20 minutes. In we're between. seeing it all. <laughs> Dude. Let's go, Host. Let's go. You got the Clover, Behemoth. He's got it all right now. He's ready. He just has to get there, dude. Just get to the cauldrons. I think he's going there as well. Get to the cauldrons. He's check cauldrons first, because this is a cope-ass run, so why wouldn't you <laughs> check cauldrons? <sighs> <sighs> this is... Uh, Mentally painful. This is something, dude. Yeah. We haven't seen the run this excruciating in quite a while. Yeah. It happens to the best of us. Host really just trying to stay alive, getting to the cauldrons, all these exploders just volleying their attacks at him. But he'll find it, he'll find it. He's going to the cauldrons. What is he going to lose? Just check the cauldrons, please. He could lose his feather, dude. That would suck. I mean, he's there got to go. He sees it. it. Yeah, there it's it is. It's a pillar skip. You just have to. Yep. I mean, you have to. I mean, it's also like a pseudo feather anyway, so it's fine. But it's like... What lost his feather, lost feather one band. band. Yeah. Not too right. bad. Uh, he could have lost more shurikens and bands and stuff, so... Yep. Looks like he's gonna go try the V2 spot with Stompers. I don't know how well that works. It might work good, but it Shrug. might launch you too close to the arena to really get over the lip, which I think I've is... I've never seen anyone do ...probably this, the so. case. I think Let's it will just it. launch him too far. Oh, nice. Actually, it was perfect. It is and actually beautiful. way faster than Zinc, because Zinc went all the way to the V1 spot. Yeah. Good for him. Oh, Kevin in the stream already. Nice. <laughs> Let's bring in <laughs> Cabbage and, uh, and Zinc. Hey. Hello. I won real time. Hello. Oh, that's I won real time. <laughs> I won real time. <laughs> I did it. True. I just looked at your time. Uh, you also have I, a stage five incident no, for I four won, in a row. I won real time, though. That's true. Cabbage had incidents on multiple stages. I'll just oh, let's say that. <laughs> Zinc, you had one very large incident, I think, was more what, what it was. was your incident? I made the mistake of forgetting that Caffeinator doesn't work outside of the teleporter, so I just could not deal with stage 5 teleport uh, at all. And I got tilted after dying twice very quickly, and then died no, two more stage, times equally very five, quickly. Stage 5 was free. Stage 5 was really easy for me. Yeah. It was a bit hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I died host plus 5. Quickly. No. So host has six plus fives. Cabbage, you ended with eight, nine plus fives. <laughs> so host could take second place here. He did find the stompers from the cauldrons, so he was able to host Cabbage, skip. You didn't. Cabbage didn't. No, Cabbage the thing is, I was just kind of trying to see how fast I could go. Oh yeah, I Cabbage, you wanna, do you want to talk about the stage three incident? Wait, who? Me? Yeah, yeah you. Oh, oh yeah, I Diablo myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. I, uh, Isn't the it, boss flying? So you're like, not it was, yeah, that. It's a bit of crowd control, you know, a lot of bit of CC. <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't the last time he did that either in the run. Yeah. No, that's the only time I diabled myself, I think, right? Uh? Oh, on the moon, I did it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no, you I actually did. It. No, 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 I wanted to skip. I don't yeah, know, but did you die on the skip? He died the first uh, time. Yeah, because I had 13 curves, so I have to die. Oh. <laughs> you need 12 curves. Oh, boy. <laughs> How's yeah, so trying like to is bad. get this done? Bad I think band. he's getting his Diablo strikes a little bit off on his timing. Yeah, he just... Oh, oh, why is he running Host? in there? Oh, you know what? The Focus Crystal? Host is a gamer. Yep, the, the Focus, Focus Crystal. The Focus Crystal play, dude. <laughs> 
he had, oh, yeah, he had, he had his OSP. Gamer. He was going to use his two bogus crystals <laughs> to amplify the Diablo. Oh, no. What a gamer. Wait, he still beats me, though, right? Yeah, he'll still beat me. Uh, we'll see. He might he have mentally die, checked out too much to actually beat you. But... No, nah, because he can die one more time and still win. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, but there's the yeah, entirety yeah. of Phase 4 with that particular course. Yeah. Which... Oh, does he have successful his Phase 1 and Phase 2 are? And I hope he gets that good. <laughs> so nice timing. Good. Give Careful. him a point. Please get a point. <sighs> but yeah, that was a horrible run for everyone. It was just painful. Is, all I assume because of the band printer, like it, yeah. nobody else would have an issue. Like I wasn't getting any items. I assumed there were like decent items. So no, the band printer killed me because I'm like, yo, it's time to go fast, and then I went fast, and then <laughs> yeah, it wasn't yeah, that good. Like, <laughs> yeah, uh, the I... host actually only got one. And got a clover on stage oh, three, really? but it's still just like it's it's That's not much clover. going for it. Yeah, yeah, one bleed. Uh yep. the innate crit that you have. He's got <laughs> stun grenade for his clover. That's huge. Oh wait, yeah. I thought I thought he was done with phase three. Oh no. No. He's on the he's phase still... two right now. No, he can still win. He can win. He can yeah, about the behemoth from the Aloe Worship unit. Well it got second. Oh he's got yeah. focus uh, up. No. Did he how did he kill it? I Diablo. Think Diablo. The worship unit? Diablo yeah. multiple bands. Ah, uh, that's impossible actually, so GG. Yeah, you can never <laughs> get the timing down. No, the timing doesn't work though. There is no timing. Like yeah. 25 seconds or something. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, but where do you put it? At the top I put of the it on pillar. the top of the ship. Yep, on the, the top the ring of the, of the pillar. Should maybe do that. One. I do have a video on this. You do know this, right? That you could yeah, do research on and get I better. I tried watching one of your videos and I just fell asleep immediately. Oh, you're I've right. Been actually well, you know what? On, like... I still get the ad revenue, so I don't care if you fall asleep. Yeah, so, no, well, I go watch it again. <laughs> well, I have ad block, so but anyways, um, the thing is, like, I put them on before bed so I sleep easier, but I don't actually, like, I don't really get to listen to them. I'm just yeah, I just watch all of your prismatics one after another, and that puts me to sleep because it's literally just garbage <laughs> merc gameplay. I mean, I'm not asking anyone to watch them all the time, though. No, that's the difference. <laughs> I'm not plugging them everywhere. <laughs> don't not concede. Like, hey, don't concede, host. Yeah. Don't do it, host. Do don't it. Do I just it. go in there don't and. Do it. Do I mean, no. there's a reason we haven't pulled him out. So, like, he knows. Just he don't. knows. He, he, he has can't. to think about it. it. No. Come on, buddy. Just meditate a little bit. Let's deep go. Breaths. He pulled through. He broke through the it's wall. Time, host. It's yeah. happening. Let's fucking go. He paused. He wanted to get pulled out, and he didn't get pulled out. He knows. <laughs> he just needs to get through to the second phase of this phase, so then he can yeah. get the timings down. Yeah. He should be using his primary because he does have double shuriken, three bands. Yeah. True. He's going all in on Diablo right now. He could be using a little bit point. caffeinator now too. Mm. Okay, but like, what was wrong with that run? Because I was just going fast; I didn't care. Um, but uh, there was a literally no healing on my part. Yeah, the only healing was the beacon. The healing beacon, though, yeah. The caffeinator, yeah. which doesn't work outside of the teleporter, which is full of enemies. Mm. There were there two fireworks from printer. stage one. There was a speed printer. There was a band printer. It just seemed like yeah. a completely fine run. I was just, I don't know. Yeah, I knew I could. It was just Metrix rough. Easily. I just wanted to get to Metrix and a that was bit the of an problem. issue doing that. Yeah, single I will mean, wisp thought, AOE. I thought I just kind of speed shoot, kill all the bosses, win, go Metrix, Diablo skip, everything's fine. Yeah, I uh, thought that too. Uh, it's just so, you gotta get to oh, Metrix, and then everything's yeah, fine. Get, I get very much Mithrix. did not get to Metrix. <laughs> no, host with a plus five, oh, and unfortunately, that means he does not get second place but man uh, brutal run for everyone GG that host. shit was rough oh and he missed the diablo shit <laughs> unlucky unlucky well gg zinc gg well that That's means a good zinc. run to end it uh you are our winner of the day so congratulations big i mean you've the played two uh wins loadout races and you've won twice right so <laughs> yep 100 percent win rate yeah kind of come into play dude but anyway Just give up um... the, the tournament you didn't have to really win all of it so no yeah you just had to get the heads <laughs> yeah you just get the heads up back. on the last run back for the tournament the sweep
Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure I like that. I don't like <laughs> that one bit. I don't, I don't think I like that. <laughs> do we uh do we pull the gaming host out or do we let him try to get his timings uh, down one more time? Let, let's see him land this one Diablo because I think this will take care of. It's a tough it. call. Why is he not placing it right in the middle though? I don't know. Uh, because that would be too easy. Yeah. There needs to yeah, be a this bit is, of a this challenge. This is the there. man who goes Correct. for the focus crystal Diablo plays. Yeah, so. man. <laughs> <laughs> we actually landed that perfectly. Hell yeah. He knew the play, dude. Good job, host. He did it. Hell fucking yeah. Ooh. Now just Don't getting through Empathy perfect. Cores Phase 4 without dying, right? Just yeah, like you guys did. Oh, yeah. You'll do damage. Just like and, both um, of you did. You'll kill him. It'll happen. <laughs> Your fireworks won't target hey, the epsi cores. Hey, I, no. I didn't die to phase four. I died a lot, but I didn't die to phase four. Okay, that's good. Host yeah. has a uh, yeah, risk of resources uh, uh, everywhere. Uh, <laughs> no, this is like mine. Except for I had my speed back. Uh, yeah, he actually didn't print speed at all. Oh, no. And that's, oh, no. yeah. He was going yeah, for, oh, no, oh, no. That is unlucky. Oh, <laughs> uh, get him out, honestly. <laughs> he's almost done, he's almost done, he's got it, he's got it. At this point, yeah, he's just got to finish it's it. Just, uh, it's just, he's got to watch to... Mithrix's life fall out of his I body. Mean, I wanted to get pulled out during stage five. Like, same. You were the, <laughs> you were the furthest ahead, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> How? And then stage five, <laughs> TP was just hyper, hyper cope for you, unfortunately. Like, if it was a grandparent, I just Diablo it, and it's fine. Oh, yeah. But it's, it was, you know. Yeah. Kind of you run around and it misses. Except for uh, the guy who summons four probes, and you instantly die it like five times. Those is, four probes. I got a pre spawn Z construct. Like, yeah, I got that. And I got I entered like really early, so that was not yeah. ideal. Both of you I guys struggled go, with it. I thought Everyone if I go early, it. like. Yeah. Hosted it's the like, best with that Z construct. How yep. did he kill it? He just shot speed it. Speed shoot. Just worked. Clover, I've... bleed. He went across yeah. the bridge and just, just had a better shoot. angle for it, I did guess. Did you see how it started yeah. shooting me when it was like on a different stage? It was like, <laughs> yeah, Cyrus yeah it's a just... horrible enemy, horribly designed <laughs> and is... shouldn't be in this game. But you know, I know what? How bad you guys is, don't want I... the Nuxlar mod to fix it. So oh, I get fucking fucked. grubbed. That's a grub plus five as well. <laughs> That's very relatable, actually. <laughs> just like the cabbage yeah. himself. <laughs> The thing Same is, way almost. <laughs> I knew how bad the construct was. I didn't think it was going to hit me from there. Like, I just genuinely did not think it was going to do that. Yeah. It has so much well, range. Like, it's a horrible have, enemy. <laughs> I have, bad. like, zero expectations left, and it's still, like, lower than expectations. It's crazy. Yeah. I was watching. We'll, uh, we'll bring host in for the, the yeah. charge. I was watching Cap yesterday, and the construct flew under the map, so you can actually hit it. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, <laughs> and then I I god moded no clipped and just like stared at it, and it was just standing there under the rock bridge, not doing a goddamn thing. Worst fucking out of designed the enemy map. in the game. I don't know how <laughs> so it has funny. quality assurance. Holy yeah. shit. Anyways, let's bring host in. Yeah. Hey, host. hey host. Welcome to the uh, the struggle yeah. bus because. <laughs> This is the. It was fucking. This pain was for a fucking bloodbath. Actually, <laughs> I don't think we've seen this many plus fives like accumulatively in weeks, like in the past well, two or three months combined. I have that, an excuse. What about the end? Secure third place for me. Is that why you? No, 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 no. No, it was. Um, I, also did that too. I think the phase three death. I want to say, no. but you actually were you were contending for second place for. The majority of that Mythrix fight, but unfortunately that up and one right plus five. The end. Yeah, Cabbage died a substantial amount of times I to himself. Bad at all even. What you mean. Good yeah, job. Like you were almost as bad as I was. It was tough, man. Yeah. No one got out of that alive. For everyone. Five as, deaths it was the minimum. As always, chat, give everyone is... a round of applause for no, coming in and suffering. Ah, you, it's, no, you suffered today and you deserve one. I mean, he deserves to one clap. too. Uh, for everyone to uh, even finish that last loadout was fucking insane. So <laughs> good job, everybody. It was, hell. it was. I mean, looking at the times, right? You know, like 30 minutes, almost 30 there. And then from like, what is that? A 70 minute minimum 
like Jesus, dude. <laughs> yeah, it was it was not easy. So, good job to you guys. As always, um, you know, gauntlet's never free. It's always tough. Yeah. Um, so did you? Um, was there anything? So, host, you were the one who found the clover. Yeah, well, cabbage really on my didn't. Side. Yeah, I know for all the proc items, right? For the the one bleed, the cosmetic. <laughs> uh, I like the part where I where I printed one speed item and it took my own like out of all everything, it just took the bleed. Yeah, yeah, that was right so painful. End. But at least I found three rolls of pennies and two stun grenades. Yeah, at least you I... didn't kill yourself to Diablo skipping like a certain person did. Hey, I, I did on because... Diablo skip because <laughs> I had to do pillars. That was a completely intentional. Oh wait, no, I did a head stompers. Cause yeah, stompers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, stompers did I you check cauldrons? I could have that I was really able to use, you know, if I just yeah. fucking took the uh, quail on stage five, which I should have. Oh, like, was there a quail stage five? Yeah, I didn't even know there was. Damn. It was on the or... terminal next it was on the terminal next to the uh, renounce band and uh, Oh, that's so oh, big. Dude, <laughs> come on. Um, like who's gonna because I'm like, that? well, I'll just take speed from the speed printer, and then I took speed from the speed printer. Yeah, from the uh, the elders over there that didn't even shake my screen once, tiny bit. Yeah, we saw that you blasted the screen shake. <laughs> I don't know where they God. came from, but they just kind of phased into existence. Good games, all. Glad I was able to be the uh, yeah, DGs subway surfers at the top. The what? <laughs> yeah, if you get bored of watching zinc and, and cabbage, actually, right. you can just you did, right. fine. Hey, you did fine. Zinc you did was fine. the only content here. It was it was hard today, all the way through. Yeah, I have my list of announcements today. If you guys want some, if you know the list, then uh, we'll see you next week. But if you want to know when the next race is going to be, make sure you're in Discord. We give out alerts beforehand just to make sure that you know when we're doing it because the schedule changes. All right, <clears throat> the schedule hasn't changed in the past like several weeks. <laughs> It's changed by one hour once, but we want to make sure that you know when we're going to do it because everyone's schedules are very dynamic. Usually, smile. Uh, so join on Discord for that. If you guys want to use the mod to play with your friends and do some like homebrew races or whatever, we have our public mod release on the Thunder Store, so just search up Risky Resources so you can find it there. If you guys want to speedrun uh, on the official gauntlet category that we have on speedrun.com, go check that out too. We have all of these guys in here. I, everyone in here has like a world record, right? No, I lost mine. Oh, yeah, I loser. lost one too. Oh, loser. Yeah, I would, I would, um, wow. Imagine. <laughs> so Zink and Host are the only true gamers in here. Um, so you yeah. can do that too and actually, you know, fight against all these guys in here for actual world record times and all that good stuff. Um, if you guys want to see more of these races and, you know, we've done this for a while, a lot of weeks now, we have a YouTube and we upload the VODs to there. So if you want to check those out and catch up on all the ones of the past, see how this elo got to be where it was for every person and and all the good stuff of what happened when and all the cool moments and if you guys want to actually apply to be a racer to throw yourself in this hellscape that we now live uh go to riskofresources.com slash rules and now at the bottom you can actually send in your application and we very much encourage it we really want more racers um we're looking all the time Please. all on the the twitch category for risk of rain Make sure you stream your too. runs. <laughs> it's always <laughs> good. Get in here. We're looking. <laughs> um, and I think that's it. Unless I miss something. But nope. and it's always that's all of it. Um, thanks for watching. The seating, I think. Oh shit! I'll do that now. <laughs> we didn't have the cycler, so. One of you guys missed it out of the adaptive chest on stage two oh. and loadout two or something. Loadout oh, the three. recycler. But did you like oh, the recycler? Yeah. Thing? The recycler that I missed by one and got a fantastic remote caffeinator. Yeah, yep. that's the one. You're the only one who actually saw the recycler. The other two, uh, they just got the item before the recycler came up. Oh, that recycler yeah. lived rent free in my head the whole loadout. Yeah, <laughs> it would have been cool to see what would happen. <laughs> every single item from there on was like Old War Stealth Kit and Klepton Daisy. Hell yeah. yeah. The gamer items. Yeah. As always, chat. Thanks for watching. We do appreciate everyone coming out for the events and everything, and we love doing them every week. So I don't. We'll keep it up if <laughs> we'll keep it up if you keep it up. So we'll see you guys next week. Have a good one. Bye bye, everybody. GGs. Have a good one. Bye.